lights, baby. Flash your lights everywhere. Niggas was saying shit about me. They didn't even fucking know me. This is my school. This is what I was doing with what nobody looked. Y'all don't know what goes on in practice or the locker room. Welcome back to Gills Arena, presented by Underdog Fantasy. What? What? We back again. Yes, sir. Gil, the rib jeans. They okay. say you. They say you need to cuff your jeans. The chat's coming for you today, now, Gil. No, no, no. Just some of them. Some of them just have. Man, listen. Don't blame the stylist, man. Blame, I mean, not the stylist, but the people who make these jeans, man. What they say you need to do? They think I'm on they my said, Jordan. They think I'm Jordan. I'm doing my Jordan. <laughs> Full legs, like the boot you know. cuts. They think I got the boot oh, cuts. Oh no, them ain't wide legs. No, not these ones. The ones before. The ones I was about to put on. <laughs> and the wide. Yeah, I was, about to wide. Just, I was about to get some tape and just tape the bottom. Oh, <laughs> little tape. <laughs> literally, <laughs> literally tape. <laughs> the chat is chatting. We appreciate oh, y'all. Hey, they Wait. brutal. Oh no, they listen. No, I was at funny home. though. Yes, yeah, ain't funny. Mean spirited yeah. though. Oh, they mean spirited. <laughs> mean spirited. Shit, boy, they just, mean spirited. Yo, I was uh, yesterday watching y'all. I was like, yo, they whole man. <laughs> I'm like just <laughs> constant, yeah. just one after another, and it's yeah. fast too. Yeah, they, it's a, yeah, it's a, it's a war inside the chat. Oh, yeah. oh they it's a war inside the chat. The chat goes hard. We appreciate y'all as always. This is Gil's Arena presented by Underdog Fantasy. Here with the legend Gilbert Arenas. We got Brandon Jennings back with us, repping Tough Crowd, yeah. head to toe. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, boop, yeah. <laughs> you got Tough Crowd shoes now? Yeah, yeah they come, they coming soon. Coming okay. soon. Fourteen. They say I need to get my shoe game right, so. Right. Yeah, I mean, you got no, the got black you. chucks or the white chucks, we know. Yeah, I keep it simple. <laughs> Decision fatigue. I don't want to, I have an extensive closet of shoes. I just don't, you know, keep it simple. All right. No, I don't. I'm poor. <laughs> and we got Kenya Martin back here with us. <laughs> I'm, waiting, I'm waiting for that underdog check to hit the direct deposit. Oh, man. But here's what we got cooking in the arena today. <laughs> Uh, Bam Adebayo thinks there is too many stat watchers that don't really know what good defense is. Imani Bates was the man in high school but slipped to the second round. Did the Cavs get the steal of the draft? And James Harden was a no-show at Sixers practice today. He's allegedly in Houston, working out, doing his thing. But as you know, Houston is not Philadelphia. Mm. Will this help or hurt his trade options? But before we get into all that, as always, the show is brought to you by Underdog Fantasy. Download the app. Use promo code GILL. They will match your first deposit up to $500. We got the $500 special still going. We don't know how long it's going to last. Hurry up and do it. They said people actually listen, GILL. They, they, I know. I would, too. They, hundred, I mean, 100 is cool. 500 is different. <laughs> You're giving me 500 of your money. I, I mean, I can, I can make some things work. <laughs> I, can, I can make some things work on 500. Multiple accounts. <laughs> <laughs> I can do a little more picking. Yeah. I can do a little more picking yeah, than with yeah. three, three picks? Yeah. Three picks? Definitely. Yeah. $25, $50 each went oh, about yeah. three, $350? Yeah. Gucci. See, I try to go with the three, but then the, nah. the four and five just be calling me. Yeah, that's what you can't do that. Nah. 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 All I do is I be looking like, nah, he can I do just that. Turn, listen, I just, I do three, and then them other two, I'm guessing, I just pick them two, and then one more. Like, I just, one gonna hit. One gonna hit. <laughs> They got the live, the live too. So wait at halftime, see how players are performing. You can get the pickups cracking live too, which is my new thing. Halftime, get that going. Still lose, yeah, man. Still really, lose. To be honest, I don't, I don't really know much about football like that. So it's like, and I just think like, okay, quarterback and kicker. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. You know. Yeah. You know, kicker. You know, six and a half. That just seems so easy. So, so, I, I'm my, start, so I'm gonna start pulling up on Sunday around like nine, nine thirty. The game come on at ten. We. Can, we just, sit there and, just sit there and watch. Yeah, well, you ain't gotta watch every game. They got the set up now. You can watch four at a time and yeah. stuff just like that. Mathematically, it never made sense to me. I, I played it, so mm -hmm. you know, I played it like I play Madden. Fourth and ten, fourth and twenty. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Don't throw the hell, Mary. It's a, hey, it's an option for a reason, right? Mike. <laughs> That's not football. <laughs> that's video game. Yeah, that's video game. Four, hey, listen, I got four, three downs to score 10 or four downs to score 10 yards. I'm going with the four. 
It's mathematics. It's some yeah, coaches, it's mathematics, that's, baby. Some people that's more aggressive than others <laughs> yeah. when it comes like to, but nah. It's like if, like look, if it's fourth and one or two, and you're running back averaging three yards, the hell I'm kicking it for. Well, that's because you that, that one yard tough. Yeah. I'm saying like, the, like <laughs> I'm saying like the Philadelphia Eagles got the best yeah, scrum that, thing that going right tough. now. Mm-hmm. Like they got the best shit going right now because their quarterback strong, he got a good long, lower, strong lower base, mm-hmm. so he able to push the line forward when he get. Now nah, they got if it's fourth and one, you're not stopping them. Okay. Like they got the best shit going. Fourth and one, fourth and two, they percentage of getting it is great. Yeah. The last Automatic. few years. Yeah, Jalen Hurts, no, he getting that thing. Like, that's, you, you got to keep them out of my, yeah, for, if it's sure. fourth and one, for they getting it. Like, you got to, they got to be fourth and long. They, listen. We got mostly fans. We see y'all fans, you MFers in the chat getting it, going hard. Already? Oh, of course. But I appreciate that dedication. They be on before the show, after the show. They form little communities. Hopefully yeah. y'all doing group meetups, hangouts. <laughs> all, really. all the like. But if you have Get a good question. Get more subscribers. Yeah. Add more Make subscribers. sure you like and subscribe. I'm talking about but uh, if you have a good Mosi fans question, include your underdog username. We'll give you a $50 bonus if we use that question on the show. We also got videos now, so you can email us at mostlyfansgill at gmail.com. Send in your video. We had some good videos yesterday. Uh, B Mac, I forget who the other one was from, but y'all got $100. And if you ask two questions in the video and we use it, you can get 200 Now everybody's so, sending two. So, so, <laughs> so get who you take down to put the football jersey up? I'm finna get somebody mad. Who did I take down? <laughs> Damn mess. It's a LeBron High School jersey though, St. Vincent, St. Mary. Yeah. Yo, that jersey is crazy. Yeah, I forgot. I forgot who I took down. But it, it was. It was. I was doing something. That's a top three jersey in here. Yeah, I, I was. I was doing something. I, I took it down just to make the jersey collection look a little bit better. You got some heat in here, dude. And we already got some heat going on in the chat. Uh, user by the name of Mr. Chocolate Robot. <laughs> Said, I'm on parole, staying low key. <laughs> we got BJ today, so apparently he's not staying low key if he's in the chat, but he's happy. He's a Brandon Jennings fan. He's on parole. We wish you your best. We're on parole. <laughs> okay. you know. That's better than being in jail. Absolutely. Yeah. You know, more power Just to Just being you. in jail at home, that's all. Yeah, being in jail calling. Yeah, yeah, yeah me and myself. Here's me and myself. We're going to get one of those watch. <laughs> We're going to get one of those watch. So. Let's get, let's get right into it. Also, yeah, podcast, we can't watch the show live, Apple, Spotify. You know the routine. I do the same thing every show. Hopefully y'all listen. We try really hard around here. One every day is good. You know, got to really put it in their brain. But this summer we highlighted a, a Ja Morant fan that took their love of the Grizzly star a little too far with some body art. And now a Ben Simmons fan has entered the chat. We see the fan. He got, he got Ben Simmons on his chest. <laughs> and in exchange, Ben Simmons gave him a sweaty ass towel. He was happy. But he was happy about it. So Brandon, we know you have some, some feelings about <laughs> <laughs> getting another man tattooed on your chest, but what do y'all think about the, the Ben Simmons chest tattoo? Man, listen, fans are fans, man. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know it's different I mean? for a fan. Like huh? a fan, it's different for a fan yeah. to me. Because a fan, I mean, he buys everything, he looks up like that's just. Like, you're his hero. Like, you know yeah. what I mean? It's, you're a hero. <laughs> yeah, I ran to a dude in Vegas, had my name big, like, my own, from, like, Argentina or something, like, so uh-huh. I, like my name, like, huge. <laughs> mm-hmm. it, I was like, like, really, dude? Like, you that big of a fan? Yeah. Like, what, can we take a picture? Absolutely. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. the least I can do. Yeah, yeah. Like, why? Be like, careful. no, I, can't, I ain't taking no picture with you. Get out of my face. Like, you got, like. Have you ever seen a, a, a fan with your face tattooed on their body? No, nah, not not their face. Like, not that I know of. I mean, I got, I got you know, chicks. You know, I got the name. Uh, Agent Zero? <laughs> I got Agent Zero. There's Agent Zero. Somebody got Agent okay. Zero on it? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> hey, man, that play, <laughs> no. And then uh, I got, I got uh, babies born, not mine, others. Um, like their last name was Gilbert, so they named their son Arenas. Arenas Gilbert? Yeah, wow. Arenas Gilbert. Arenas. Yeah, so I got like, okay. <laughs> got another kid who's, uh, his last name is, uh, his first name is Arenas. I'm like, good luck. Yeah. <laughs> so if you had to get a tattoo of one athlete, not yourself, on your body, who would it be? One athlete. Dead or alive? 
Ooh. Okay, Ooh. when I was in high school, Ooh. I would have got the penny doll. The penny doll. Yeah, that's how I got the penny doll. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. like a. That's dope. I wasn't old yeah, enough. Yeah, that's to like get a logo though. That's but yeah, dope. That's yeah, I wanted the. I wanted the like penny got a bulldog. I wanted the bulldog too. Like that's dope. Though. Yeah, yeah. Wanted, somebody might end up getting the penny doll. Now. Somebody might. Get, it, now that you said that, somebody yeah, might end up with that. Yeah, with the penny doll. That's hot. Yeah. But is it? Hmm? What does it matter, like living or not? Does it? Well, let's say let's say living just to make it spicier. You have to maybe see this person and you got their face tattooed on you. Not living, not walking. <laughs> Nobody. Dessert. How about that? That's why I asked the question. How, I about, asked. how about how about not living? Oh, uh, Jack Johnson. Okay. Okay. I don't even know who that is. The boxer. Oh, boxer. Unforgivable blackness. Like Jack Johnson was the first. Like rebel out here, like it was like when it was forbidden to look at white women. Jack Johnson was riding around the car with him, Ch heavyweight champ of the world, dog. heavyweight champ. Like yo, uh -huh. big old black dude, man. Mm -hmm. Like Jack Johnson, dog. Okay. Nazis too, boxing. Yes, you know what I'm saying, yo. Beat them Nazis up. Yeah, listen, dog. Mm. Strong. You gotta read the book, man. Watch the doc. Listen. Man. So, I, man, I don't, man. O.J. Simpson in the Bronco. As this tat? damn boy. As a tat. Yeah, as a tat. Yeah, I made a jacket, that, a tuck proud jacket, that, that. and I call it like "Don't play with my love." <laughs> I got OJ. I got OJ in the back, with, like the cops following him in the thing. <laughs> <Yeah>. Damn, classic. <laughs> yeah. We learn something new every day on Gil's Arena. I mean, a Mike Tyson, a Mike Tyson back in the '90s would have. Yeah, been yeah, tat. yeah. I mean, yeah, I would have been I'm not. I would have got a Dion tat back in high school. Low. We're low talking about now. Low. Yeah. Oh, now? He said now. But Dion with the Jerry Curl or with Dion? Yeah. Yeah, Jerry Curl. I mean, I didn't even think now. Swag. Yeah. Bo Jackson? See, that's the tan. Now? That yeah. Ken Griffey pose? What? That swing? That swing? That, swing? that, that, like that finish? Robin. Like Dennis, like guys like that, I feel. Like rock stars. Okay. Like dudes who got in trouble, for sure. Mm -hmm. You get it. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Okay, we don't know if anybody has your face tattooed on their body, but we do know at least one fan out there really dedicated to the Age of Zero movement. Oh, that's... Yeah. Number 65 on ESPN, number one in my heart. Yeah, there we go. That's tough. Now, I'm about to get my own tattoo of my shoe. Where you yeah. going? Yeah. Yeah. I'm about to get my tattoo. Yeah. So, so you know what? Just re-released yeah. it. Yo, I got... Yo, yo, it's, it's a lot of people with tough crowd tats. I be seeing now, like they be having like the dog, like one guy in China, uh -huh. he got the whole dog on the side of his head, just like I do. Like, yeah, see, so that's pretty like that's legendary. Pretty dope. Oof. Let's keep this thing moving. Uh, the have Rashad, listen, somebody go and get the Rashad crown on your on your on your body. Oh. <laughs> hey, if you get, get the, the Rashad crown on your body and you send it in, we will give you two. Sure, we might bring you. Yeah, we'll, might I'll bring you on the show. I'll give you a thousand. Might bring you on the show. Hell yeah, you can sit right next to him. Yes. Both of y'all got might, the crown. Might fly you in. Like like crown like around his head. Is that yeah, like, like, you, like yeah. <laughs> thousand dollars guilt is is documented. There's no coming back. Well, you get one thousand for that one. And a flight. I give another. I give a thousand. Yeah, you got two thousand to, to come do a crown around your head. And I'm a fly. Oh. And I pay for you a flight. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Rashad, hey, Rashad, gonna come in this motherfucker tomorrow. Look, I got my own tap. <laughs> get my goddamn money. Give me my thousand. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's keep this thing moving. Oh, the NBA and Nike have been OD on dropping in alternate uniforms for each, each team, including these city jerseys that they make every year. They're supposed to represent the stories, history, and heritage that make each franchise unique, honoring the inherent bond between court, community, and culture. But let's be real, they're just trying to get their bags up. But uh, Kyle Kuzma isn't really rolling. So after a photo of the Clippers' new city jerseys dropped, or alleged city jerseys, Kuz, who's rep by Puma, so we got to mention that, uh, took to Twitter to voice his displeasure. He said, Nike is ruining the nostalgia of jerseys. Every year it's a new jersey, and what gets lost is brand identity. So do y'all agree or disagree with what Kuz is saying? I mean, those are just, uh, like, you wear those, what, two, two four, or five times a, a year? Those look like some Wizards jerseys. I mean, just, I mean, you don't wear, you know. Yeah, yeah but the alternate jerseys, like, y'all alternate jerseys was, what, the gold? Right, that, that gold. Yeah, we had gold. Yeah, we had gold one year, Zephyrs one year, Bullets one year. Yeah, so it was like it was, it, but it was traditional. These like the Clippers ain't never had that in their history of like. like no, because they got different designers. They got guys like yourself in there making jerseys. Make some yeah, tough crowds. Like so they got they, they got guys that's fashion forward, that's 
in their design in jerseys now. I mean, whoever did that, I mean, whoever did that, that was simple. Just yeah, I mean, black. I'm just saying like they jerseys. got the Virgils and the <laughs> Brandon Jennings in their design in jerseys. Yeah, but I wouldn't, I don't know. I mean, I think the jerseys. If you was in the design, so if, you, if they Nike hired you as design, brand design, and bad, what would you do? I would ask, can I get the practice stuff? Like, like I don't like I just don't know if like I mean I get it like what it would do but I just don't know if that's part of like the real history of the sport like of, of the it's, the culture of the team like everything you know, has evolved yeah yeah, some, yeah but I still I don't know it's not, I'm just it a fan of like the uh, the, the classes though it changed like, like, the like basketball when it comes to stuff. so you think it's yes. the classics no, I'm saying, thinking like the, but they they've already the, ran through the, the Wilson classics. they've already ran through the classics so yeah, it's but really can't really because everybody don't got good everybody don't have the history you know what I'm saying. Yeah, everybody don't have it. Yeah, that, uh, like Bob. Okay, okay that's true. That's true. Like, true. That's true. Everybody don't that's have true. the history. So Bob, that's true. Yeah. I, I think if you're gonna if you're gonna go that way, right, and you're gonna like do city type jerseys, like make I'm, it make it to the actual city. Like if I'm the Hornets, yeah. like I, I don't come to me with a Charlotte Bobcats, nothing. I'm like we're not wearing that, dog. Mm -hmm. What about the the clit jerseys? Are they? Like, we're, we're not. We're, listen, we're not wearing that. Like you, like come on, man. Listen, <laughs> like the Hornets. Did you see our color scheme? Did you see their color scheme? Yeah. We're not doing that. Yeah. Like, <laughs> like that's, that's like, what makes you different? Like that's San Antonio's colorway. That's the Nets colorway. Like, yeah. You're at Eclipse. Like, do something that. How about Rodney King and you know, <laughs> the city on fire. Something. You know what I mean? Nah, for no. Like, let's like, say. Don't think about it. No, man. Like, the, <laughs> like you have like like it's I'm the rolling. city's on fire. Like you have something that really represents. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like, like the LA, yeah. LA Rodney Ryan. King on the jersey, dude. Yeah, yeah. Rodney King getting beat up. Somebody, uh, Reginald oh, Denny in the back. Shit, go out. Like, go I mean, like, like, but, not like. We're going like, to have OJ on the warm like, up. Yeah. Rodney King oh, to the city on fire on, 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 on the jersey. Real. It's the city. For real, for real, yep, yep. Tell me you won't buy that, though. Yep. I would ponder. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I would ponder. Yep. And it's produced by the Julie. Yeah. But and, but what I'm saying is, think about all the colors in it. Like, when you're talking about, like, like attracting. Fans, you're black. Kids don't want black. Kids don't want black. They want Man. colors. Yeah, they, they, want they, colors. But they want colors. They want all that funky coloring. But, so you're gonna have to put them up, them NBA players and them WNBA colors. Kids gonna buy it. But the no, kids they are. Gonna no, buy they are. It. That's the, all AU is. The parents, That's all AU. The parents buying the jerseys and giving them kids. Yeah, them kids got looking the at like black again. Yeah. <laughs> again. <laughs> well, I went to the game last night, the Clipper game. There's a lot of black yeah. Clipper jerseys in there. I'm just saying, different names on them, but they got different. Yeah, nah, man, you gotta, you gotta put out that them funky. Oh no, know, man, I think the old '90s Clipper jerseys is they need to bring that back. Ooh. The old '90 Clippers. And yeah. Norman and Danny Manning. Yeah, when what they was that? at the uh, what, what stadium playing? Sports Arena. The Sports mm -hmm. Arena playing. Bring back them jerseys. Yeah, a lot of like some teams they kept the same, like just like Sacramento. Mm -hmm. They did nothing different. They do nothing different. Just so now you got you to you do something for them. You got to give them something. They had the old school baby blue joints. Yeah, the old, the old, one, the old one run with, uh, with, with Bibby and them. them yeah, but, them, but it's still pretty much the same thing with the team now. Yeah. I'm saying they just, it's just, they, but now you, so they, you have to create something for them. Mm -hmm. The Milwaukee Bucks, you got to, the color scheme has always been that, but you got to create something. Like the thing with the deer on it. Like, that was dope. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like the jersey yeah, with the deer yeah. on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's something for the, I'm saying it means because it's the logo. But I think they should just keep it those colors. You like the blue jerseys? You like the blue? I don't. Like, yeah, like, like, yeah. I don't for like them? the blue. Unless there's some I, I just, type of meaning of the, of something. What blue collar? They've always been the same. Well, color. fuck everybody says that shit. So what? The blue collar. Okay, cool. Blue collar what? Blue collar state. State. Yeah. And just have the blue collar on. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Put green the blue, on. The green. And the blue collar yeah, that's different. That would be more fitting mm -hmm. to what they trying to portray. The cream. You like the cream ones when they started that cream? No. That's okay because it still got the green the accents. Yeah. And yeah. I like that. Yeah. I like the okay. office. Yeah. I like that. Okay. You know what I'm saying. Because then you're able to play with the color scheme with the shoes. Yeah. You know, I'm, I'm a, I'm a coordinator Co -coordinator. kind of okay. guy. When okay, I, coordinator. I, I got the coordinator. I'm a Dion, I'm a Dion guy. You look yeah. good, you play, play good, good, you get paid yeah, good. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm talking yeah, about? Yeah, yeah. I'm a prime guy with that yeah. shit. You know what I'm saying? But I, I get it. But no, nah, yeah, no. Nah, some teams, like, they don't have the, I'm saying, the history of, like, I like the old school Mavericks joints. Like, the old, like, 90s Mavericks. Just get, just get them. Like, 
them, Before but that? that yeah, same. It was the same yeah. thing. That, yeah, I like them. Nine like, I think they should go back to them. The best one is Phoenix. Like, oh, listen, that old Phoenix. The old Phoenix honest, joints. If black. NBA was smart, all they would do if you instead of doing this crap, just tap into football, change your colorway into a football colorway, right? So Lakers or what's the name go into the Rams colorway, right? Dallas go into the Cowboys colorway, like. Do something like now, that. Now you think about all the football fans, they get to wear your basketball jersey at the football game. That's good shit. You know what I mean? Mm. Hey. Yeah, now, my, think that, about the Miami Jets, Heat. The Jets jersey the on the was Miami Ooh. Heat with the Dolphins yeah. colorway. Yeah, I'm not saying. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. they did like yeah. a South Beach yeah. color. Did, yeah. Didn't they do a color? Yeah. Huh? Like LeBron's shoes was like, they, they did like a South Beach they color. They did a South Beach color. They did a South Beach color right with the South Beach LeBrons, right? Yeah. Yeah, but. Them shits was off. Yeah, but imagine in the Dolphin color. Dolphin Ooh. Y'all giving away free Me. shit. I'm just saying, we man. always do. We Stop always do. Away we we always do. thinking about shit like, because I was like, man, if our colorway Nets, is like the red. Nets jerseys. We had the Redskins colorway. Because the, 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 the I had Mets. the shoes with it, too. Mm-hmm. The, the Nets and the Mets. Mm. The Knicks and the Yankees. Yeah. yeah. The Knicks, oh, the, 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 the Knicks jersey and the Yankee color. Yeah, that's oh, what I'm saying. Oh, that'd be tough. That'd be tough. Damn. That'd be tough. The Bulls and the, and, the, and the Bears, Bears? switch. Ooh. Y'all might have just did something. Yeah. No bad. But, Watch it like two weeks. Sure, right. like, sure, 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 sure. sure. But that's what I'm saying. Now you're gonna have you're gonna literally have football player football fans mm-hmm. at the games with the basketball. And vice versa. Like, and vice versa. And vice versa. That's that's real. That's why. Keep their house the same colorway. Yeah. That's why. So so let's shift it. Let's talk about a, a questionable decision. Now we all know that Nike Jumpman is sponsoring the NBA, and MJ lives rent free in the minds of Jazz fans. <laughs> uh, two of Jordan Six rings. Came from the 97-98 Bulls, beating the Jazz in the Jazz's only two final trips in franchise history. Uh, MJ ruined the Jazz's chances of breaking their NBA championship drought. So in the Jazz team store, I think earlier this week, they were selling these shirts. <laughs> Dude, that's crazy. Buzz. Fire whoever allowed this design. <laughs> So naturally, Jordan. Ja- <laughs> jazz fans were understandably salty when these shirts dropped in the team store. Uh, it featured an oversized jump man dunking over the Utah Jazz. You know, Jordan may be the official sponsor of the league, but somebody had to be trolling by letting these hit the shelves. Uh, comedian Ian Carmel offered some astute analysis of the jump man jazz shirts. He said, This is like Tokyo putting out a shirt with Godzilla on it. <laughs> 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 and one Jazz fan took it upon himself to remix the shirt to spotlight one of the most controversial plays in Game 6 of the 98 Finals. I, pu- <laughs> I pushed off. <laughs> fixed it. They fixed it. <laughs> so, what y'all, what y'all think about Jumpman's strong arm in the league? Because these aren't only in Utah. I believe they're, you got yeah, one in New everywhere. York. Yeah, you, got, everywhere. you know, Cleveland, Craig Elo might be wearing one of these. Yeah, there's a few right. franchises that this man stopped from getting rings, man. That's a bar, though. It's because it's everybody got it. That's the problem, because he messed everybody up. I mean, that's so, so, like, uh, so every 30 team. So know. I think if it was the, the, the team name was bigger and the logo was just the here, same size it people was. wouldn't probably have a bigger problem with it. But mm-hmm. yeah, that's kind of disrespectful. One certain, of his kids had to do that. Absolutely. Oh, yeah, they, that's control right there. That's, that's, they that's, control that's a young that. mind right there. Yeah, they control the stuff <laughs> over there, right? Jazz. Yeah, they running the stuff over there, so yeah. it's... Yeah, that was a... Imagine you're a jazz fan. You got to walk wait, so the store. So the jump man is NBA or is it Nike? I, th- I think it's interchangeable, if I'm not mistaken. Nah. Because I, mean, I seen that tag. That tag said Nike. It and the inside, it said Nike. Yeah, it didn't say Jordan. Nike, Nike making the product. Yeah. Because if you go on the Nike site, it's still Jordan stuff. Oh, you can, yeah, it's still, yeah. It's, it's all going in Phil Knight pocket. Yeah, I know, but it's, it's... At the end of the day, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Whatever it is. Oh, Navy. Like, I mean, jump in the, in the man back. Got a, I mean, jump in in the yeah. back would have been a little bit better. The man like, got a building on the campus, man. What you expect, dog? Who? On oh, Nike? The man got a building. You know what I'm saying? This should have been like in the back. It's only a few bi- or like, people that got buildings on the campus. Or like campus. normally like it's up here like Lina, usual. Right? It's only a few people got buildings on the campus, man. <laughs> so. They ain't gonna sell, that, 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 those jerseys ain't gonna sell too much. Them shirts. They ain't worried about them shirts selling, man. They gonna pull them. People complain they'll pull them. It ain't. That's like the championship shirts they print up the fuck the team that don't win it. Yeah. They, send it the, to the third world. Yeah, they go, that, send, yeah. It to, send it to the third world. <laughs> they just yeah, shoot yeah. them shit out. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Down. You go to some... <laughs> 
I'm saying some town in some little country in I'm saying Guatemala and they got, like, they got <laughs> when did they win the championship? <laughs> <laughs> Miami Heat championship. <laughs> what? Fuck. <laughs> Oh my lord! Oh my goodness! Yeah, like when the Warriors up three one, they had them bitches printed. Yeah, they did. Telling they yeah, had early, printed, ready. Had them bitches printed, ready. <laughs> the pain. Uh, such a beautiful moment. I'm telling it all, yeah. Where, the, where, where them shirts at? Yeah, yeah, Because <laughs> I know a dude that play um, for the Seahawks. Mm -hmm. He said he saw the people like bringing the shirts and stuff out when they when the Russell threw the interception mm -hmm. and they were supposed to run it. He said he saw the dude bringing everything out. And he threw it in the second motherfucker, turned around, like, whoa, shit, let me go. <laughs> Man, Yo. that, that got to be the sickest film. <laughs> no. Oh, yeah. You got two downs. Right. You got the hardest runner, one of the hardest runners ever. And you don't give him the ball. Mm -hmm. And you throw a pick. And they got to take the stuff back in the back. You, he said, I saw him wheeling it out. Oh, they all, he said. The best part is Marshawn laughed at Pete Carroll's face. Oh, that's the listen, dog. He what? He, he laughed, laughed at Pete Carroll. Oh, he laughed? He, he was face. on uh, Club Shay Shay. Oh. He basically said, uh, after the play, Russell Wilson was like, we'll get him next time or something. He said he just he laughed at Pete Carroll's face and went to the locker room. Yeah, he said he ain't Place over. <laughs> we'll get him next time. Get him next time. Shit. All right, well, let's, let's move things to, to current NBA discussion. So, Gil, when the Cavs landed, Imani Bates with the 49th pick, you said that was one of the steals of the draft because the Cavs were getting a lottery-level player late in the second round. Mm -hmm. Bates has been balling this preseason in his long-range game as Cavs fans calling him Three Money. That's his new name. Three Money. Three Money Bates. So Cavs head coach J.B. Bickerstaff has liked what he's seen from Bates in the preseason, and he thinks he could be one of the top rookies this season. He said, and I quote, I believe if Imani had gone in the lottery, he'd be... He'd have been there, one of the players who would have been in the Rookie of the Year conversation. We are extremely fortunate that he's here with us, and we look forward to working with him. So Imani was one of the, uh, picked to be one of the guys very early. SI cover, first sophomore to win Gatorade National Player of the Year. Reclassified, went to Memphis. Had some off-course issues, transferred to Mich Eastern Michigan. Ended up getting his rhythm back. And now, here he is getting some love. So how great is it seeing Imani Bates bounce back after all the criticism? It's good, man. I mean, you know, young kids, <clears throat> especially with that type of uh, rec recognition, you know, things are going to happen, right? So the fact that uh, he had to fall this far for people to realize that he was, he's good, um, I think, you know, he's going to get to the bag faster than everybody, right? Because, you know, it's a two years, three year deal now, so he's going to get there. Um, He's on a team that's going to win games, and at that at that at that position, you know he's going to get time. So, um, you know, I I expected big things. You know, that's why I said I I thought it was a, a steal when I seen him go that late. Like, like he was literally a lottery pick, right? His talent is a lottery. Um, what he does, his skills. So, um, getting him in the second round, like I don't want to hear nobody like later in life like. Well, we didn't see what, like, you did. <laughs> you did. You were still trying to penalize young fella, right? You know, so, you know, proud of him, you know? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's preseason, um, but, like, you know, like, he's taking advantage of his opportunity. Um, you know, I'm sure he's hearing the noise, you know, not being first round. Um, like you said, he'll have a chance to, you know, play, be, be around a team that's going to be fighting in the playoffs. Um, and he'll be able to be able to be in games with, when he's playing big minutes mm -hmm. too. Also, so um, I'm excited for him. He just had hit me on the DMs the other day. Um, you know, I just told him just congratulations and uh, you know just keep pushing through. But uh, I'm excited for him, man. I've always been a fan. Okay. I've always been a fan. But I love the fact that you know he's staying hungry though. Mm -hmm. Like the fact that he was top in high school and you know like you said had his little issue, but. You know, like you said, man, you got to take advantage of the opportunity. He's, he has a chance to, you know, like kind of like be in your situation. Mm -hmm. um, you know, so we'll see. But I'm excited. Yeah, no, you got to make the best of the opportunity, like B said. But being humble sometimes will make you work harder mm -hmm. and make you lock in. And whatever the situation he went through, it was unfortunate. But it seemed like it humbled him. I'm saying, and being probably in Memphis probably wouldn't have been the best situation. And him being in, ending up in Eastern Michigan was smaller scale. School wasn't getting the, the attention that he was always getting. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I did something to him. But, no, nah, I mean, being in a good situation under good coaching staff um, goes a long way. Having guys around you fighting for something goes a long way. Yeah. And like, like Brandon said, just having an opportunity to play in the, in the preseason with no pressures. Mm -hmm. 
You know what I'm saying? And nobody expected nothing. Yep. <laughs> now you get to show people what, what it was, what people thought it was when you was a sophomore, during these years when you are in high school. Now you get to display that and open people's eyes again, but still understand that I did get drafted in the second round. It ain't guaranteed, you know what I'm saying? So, so keeping also, that humble yeah. approach. Yeah. I mean, it's also about, like, like you always say, it's, all about, it's also about getting to the right uh, situation to in the draft, like where you get picked. Like he could win first round somewhere where, you know, you never know, but still with the Cavs, it's like he's in a good situation to me. Like, you know, yeah. that's, I think that's the blessing of it all because you never it's know. It's your point. No, like, it's what? your point, though. Like he makes shots mm -hmm. and he's going to get to play at that position because they... Like it's one of those things, though. He's what, 6'9"? 6'8", 6'9". You got some size, yeah. And <laughs> if he shows what he can show, one of them guards is gone. <laughs> one of them guards is gone because you have two small guards that's the same size, right? Mm -hmm. And then you have Imani Bates when you can just slide Imani Bates to the two. Now you have a big two guard. And then who's he can guard. One? He can guard his two, huh? And who's at the one? Donovan. Uh, oh, it's between Donovan and Darius. Because neither yeah. one of them is really a point. Yeah, but but or a two. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. They they. So they're just both hybrids. Now you can get you get rid of one of your hybrids, and now you have a legit two. Slash three, so you have more flexibility, mm -hmm. and you can bring in a big three, and you kind of got a big team, which your point guard really don't need to be point. Yeah, right. So you know same I mean? like same like the Suns. Like like in, in, in a sense, but I mean, Garland, yeah, Garland's, yeah. Garland's a little bit more of a point, but yeah. you have you have flexibility in your in your right. in your team. Yeah, because Amani can play the one. Okay, you know Garland or what's it didn't come off. Like I mean just. I can I can see that happen. I, that's like in training camp and in the season. I'm gonna be looking for him to take one of these spots if he can. Mm. Like I, I want him at the three, but I'm like, but how realistic? I can make you a two. How realistic you feel like that they is coming in as a second round pick? I feel like it'd be different if he was a lottery, like they say. But it don't it don't it don't matter. We we know what it's, you can see his talent. Yeah. You can see he makes shots. He can he can shoot that thing right. He can. He's long, he's big. At that point, it's like I can see the talent. You know, he's working. So all of it, all of this is just getting reps in. And then you know, I'm thinking about like when can I start? You know, when am I expecting him to come in and move? So whoever, whoever's a free agent coming up in the next two years, three years, is they got to be on your mind. <laughs> you know what I like mean? The, yeah, yeah, being able to play free. Got them guys. Yeah. It was like when Braun came over. Yeah, when Braun came to Cleveland, right? Like, yeah, he's the number one pick, but whatever position that he's playing, you gotta really think, like, yeah, I don't think I'm a I don't think I'ma be here, you know, much longer. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? I mean you, you, you wanna be the three to two? <laughs> like, I'd have been asking that question. You wanna be two to three? Like, shit, cause. So obviously you have a unique perspective being a second round pick and going on to have the career that you have. What advice would you give to second round picks and undrafted players about getting ready for their rookie season in the league? Man, learn, learn, study, focus, get you, um, get you a routine um, outside of the team because that's all you can rely on when you know things ain't going your way. It's a long season, right? So however that season look at the beginning, might not finish that way. You know what I mean? So like if you, you getting a lot of minutes at the beginning, shit, you might not get minutes at the end, right? You, you might not get no minutes. Like I went from like one minute hit, 30 seconds, two minutes, and then overnight, two days later, I'm starting, right? No practice, no nothing. Didn't, you know, somebody got hurt, somebody got kicked off the team, they had to put somebody in. And then when I, when, you know, when I got that chance, I just took off, right? So you gotta always be mentally prepared, ready, um, you know, it's, it's hard to, it's, it's easy to say, don't get into your feelings and think that, you know, you ain't playing and get down on yourself. It's going to happen, but understand that it is part of the process. So understand how to bounce out of it. Watch game tape, like whatever positive things you got going on, make sure you're flooded with it. You know, every day in practice, even if you have a bad practice, put a highlight tape in. 
know what I mean? Because one bad practice and you got killed, you go into tomorrow thinking what happened last night, gonna happen again, <laughs> and again, and again. So you gotta, you gotta keep uh, ensuring yourself how good you are. So like, you know, every day, you know, you, you moving towards whatever your goal is. So Kenyon and Brandon, you guys have a, a different perspective, obviously. You know, number one overall pick. Like slightly. It. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> slightly. Like, yeah. yeah, I ain't had to worry about that shit, man. But <laughs> slightly. So, but what advice would you give the lottery picks on how to approach their rookie season? No, it's the same thing, man. This, it don't change because you first pick lottery, 53rd, 49th. It don't change. You got a routine. You got to work your ass off. You got to surround yourself with positive people. You got to do all the positive stuff in order to, to get ready. You know what I'm saying? Your demand might be a little different if you lottery pick from your team with obligations as far as media and stuff like that. But as far as the game, it don't change. Yeah. Like for me, I was still trying to get like healthy before training camp. Cause my situation was different. I was coming off an injury and I didn't do the pre-draft stuff, so I. I was just now starting to work out right before the draft, and mm -hmm. people still questioning whether I was this, whether I was that, and you know what I'm saying so I still had a little something to prove because of quote unquote dominance my senior year. You know what I'm saying? Like so, I still had to prove that I was that coming into it. So once I started working out, I had to go that much harder because I was behind because mm -hmm. everybody else had been working out all summer. Like my first eight weeks of the summer, I was non weight bearing. I was on crutches, <clears throat> so I had to hit. I had to hit the ground, and I had to like really? double time. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like I had to. So before, so to get ready for training camp, yeah. like I had to do more than I probably would have had to do, so to speak. You know what I'm saying? I probably would have to work out, work my ass out, but I had to, like, guess I had to double up on everything that I was doing because I was behind. So, <clears throat> Brent, how about yourself? Uh, I mean, for me, I had no time to waste. I had Scott Skiles. Um, so, you know, right, you know, right from the jump, um, you know, he was, you know, I had to come in and, you know, work hard, show up early, you know, film and, and you know, everything. Um, you know, because the point guard position, it was up, you know, it was up to me. You know, if I wanted it, I had to go out there and earn it, and I did. So the pressure was already on, on, on me right from the jump, you know, um, coming over from Europe, not playing, um, coming back wanting to prove that, you know, I made, I did make the right decision. So being able to start, you know, say my rookie year, make it to the playoffs, that was, you know, a big accomplishment to me because of all the criticism that I had to face, you know, um, skipping out on college. So, but also, you know, like, like Ken and Gil said, it doesn't matter what pick you are because the next year it's another 60. So your job can be in jeopardy the next year. So you have no time to waste. Well, my job wasn't in jeopardy <laughs> the next year. I'm just building. But I mean, we, we just traded for J. Kidd the next year, so I was like, shit, let's go. Yeah. But, but how you said it, somebody like me, mm -hmm. yeah. right? You don't see me coming. Not at all. Your jobs, y'all jobs were in jeopardy, yeah. right? Are yeah. we going to kick you off? We gonna, you going to go on the bench? You going to do it? Like, yeah. Oh, yeah, I saw it. Yeah, yeah, you know what I mean? So I saw it What with the... the <laughs> Like, yeah, they got drafted RJ, okay, he out, he gone, he just... You start, yeah, you start yeah, thinking about it. You yeah. start seeing it, you know what I'm saying? Like, but nah, we, if they would have drafted a four when I was in that bitch, I would have been like, okay, now, <laughs> this is what y'all doing now? Like, it's, it's, it's like, it's, for, just for everyone, like, you got rewarded by getting drafted for what you've done, mm. right? Now to get re, 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 rewarded the next time, these next three, four years is what you put into it. Yeah. So if you putting into it like, I made it, oh yeah, your contract the next one gonna reflect that. Right, oh I made it, I'm about to go be an NBA player and do all that, like. Nah, you got the summer, you, you got the summer, right? <laughs> you know what I mean? It's, I mean, you gonna, there's gonna be places where you wanna hang out and have fun and all that, but you gotta remember, this is when you own job, this is when Everyone's watching you. This is when mm -hmm. the demand is high. So if this is the time where you want to be an NBA player, right? You're gonna be sitting on the bench wondering why other people are passing you up because they're gonna be NBA players when the season's over with, right? I can party when the season six six months work, six months party. If that's how you want to look at it, I'm not. Why are you waiting until you get to work to party? 
And a lot of NBA players do that. When yeah. I get to work <laughs> and I'm around my boys, that's when we're going to do the most damage. Well, how much is that temp temptation a factor, though, right? You get drafted, <laughs> you're the man now. I'm saying, yeah, you're young. No, 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 no. You ain't technically, you ain't the man. Whoever the number one pick is, really, you're you not technically the man on the team. But unless, that the team is, unless the team is real trash, but you're going to have big money on your team still. Yeah. But I'm just saying, coming into now, that new city, you're the new fresh face, people rocking with you. How hard is it to, to avoid those distractions and just concentrate on doing the you work? Yeah, ask them. I was, nobody wanted me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you was a legend. Man, I didn't, like, go, so, I didn't get to a club until I got to Washington. So we came in my rookie year. I was, in, of course, number one pick for a reason. Team wasn't that good the year before. We had a few old, bunch of older guys, so we wasn't really. We won 26 games my rookie year. Wasn't expected to do much. So. Uh -huh. <laughs> Steph was on the team, so Steph was the, the, the money guy on the mm -hmm. team at the time. So, yeah, but it was still, I probably was at second, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, <laughs> on, on the team as far as popularity in the area. Yeah. I mean, we got New York right there, so yeah. it's like, shit. <laughs> <laughs> that shit was a different animal, dog. Cause like I, I wasn't, I ain't hit the ground at 19. Mm -hmm. They hit the ground at 22. Yeah. So I'm everywhere, and it's just a different love when you team ain't that good, but then you start winning, mm -hmm. and it's like, oh, this they really like you now. You know what I'm saying? For the young people watching, Stephon Marbury. Yeah. You heard that here, Steph and... Stephon Marbury, they're, my you bad. Know, they're young. No, no, not you. I'm just saying. Starberry. So they know. Starberry. Yeah. No. Starberry. So, yeah. you know, they've been... He didn't play with Steph. <laughs> yeah. That, that's, that's how, the, that's how of people move. Melo, Steph, yes. <laughs> Carmelo <laughs> Anthony. <laughs> now, Brent, how about yourself? <laughs> Milwaukee a little bit different than playing in New York. Milwaukee, as you know, like, yeah, you, I mean, you're the main attraction. Yeah, I was the there. man. Yeah, yeah, like, I mean, Green Bay two the, hours away. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I brought all the California flavor to L.A. <laughs> during that time. <laughs> Hop everybody on Air Tran, $100, like Southwest. <laughs> Fly to L.A. to Milwaukee. And, yeah, we was just t terrorizing the city. I was out. I was outside. Was outside. I, yeah, I was outside. I was outside. A little too much. You look back a little too much, or I mean, for me, I felt like because I didn't get the experience of college, mm -hmm. and I went. So I went from Oak Hill to Italy. Mm -hmm. So I don't. I didn't get no type of prom or none. None of that. Mm -hmm. So to me, I felt like you know, after my rookie year, I scored fifty five. We making the playoffs. Like yeah. let's party. So I was just partying, like for. Like, cause I was twenty, and then coming in my second year, I turned twenty-one. So you know, it was, <laughs> it was party. It was, it was up time. It was up, cause I missed out on a lot of fun. So I got that, I got that little star power off. Uh, I, I couldn't afford it. I, I'm not even gonna lie. I, just, I, I couldn't even buy beer, man. When what I was the clubs back then? Yeah, the, the prices was cheap. Yeah, I spent my money on a chain and an Escalade. <laughs> I had four. Listen, I had. <laughs> When they did my budget, man, for when they did my budget for the, because I had a two-year deal, the first year, all that money was gone. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, it was gone. Like, it was gone. So I was already in a year two money. So they had to do my budget. I had $400 after bills was paid, $400 to myself. I got a gas, week, a month? A week. I mean, a month, a month. I, had, I got gas, dog, food, girlfriend. Mm. See back then, I had to tell her, just, two of them got to go. I had to tell her. I had to tell her. Just, <laughs> that's it. Hey, Which two are you picking? House is on fire. Say, hey, at fine. the time, yeah. At that time, it would have been girlfriend, the dog, and the, girl. the, dog, the dog, and the girl got to go at the time. I told her, yeah, hey, you gonna have to find a real NBA player. Yeah. <laughs> at the <laughs> time, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He, so he, he trying to make his second. Oh, the dog and the girl got to go. Yeah. I got to eat and I got to get to work. And I got the dog after I got drafted. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because back then they used to give us like free cars. Remember, like the team? No, who? Like, the t the teams they used to like the local dealers. They used to give oh, like, local free. dealers, not the team. I mean, yeah, but the local yeah they used to give us free. So, so not giving those no second so, round yo, pick, no oh, yeah, call. It was Martin Cadillac and yeah, yeah. I'm about to say, I'm about to say Milwaukee. They yo. they gave me a free. What? They gave me like free Cadillacs. I remember for huh? my birthday, my 23rd birthday, they gave me 23 cars to drive around the city. Twenty. <laughs> 23 cars. Okay, like 15. Uh, but, I'm but, still, but still, yeah, like 15, like I flew everybody out from Cali. I sort of, we, pl we pulled up to 720, oh, and I had like 15 cars. He just shitted on my little four. I was about to say I had Like all Range that Rovers, stuff. like Range Rovers, like the first uh, electric cars. Like, true story, for real. No, like, no, we pulled up, I'm just saying. Like, we pulled up in Milwaukee. What you gonna do with 15 cars? Oh, yeah, no, he I was shitting just, on I mine. Mean, it was just, you know, 23. It was the, my 23, like Jordan. I said, I need to ride around the city like I'm Mike. So, I, 
so I had the ES, so I had the ESV, mm -hmm. the long, the extended Escalade, I had the regular Escalade, I had the pickup truck, and I had a sedan. Mm -hmm. Damn! Yep. <laughs> Every 10,000 miles, we had to just bring it back, they gave us a new one. What was I doing? <laughs> what was I? I, I like, just imagine you, Martin Cadillac in Jersey. It's yeah. Martin. <laughs> Makes sense. Um, yeah. No more, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. They I heard, I like heard. Four, four, yeah. They, they give you like three or four Escalades for the year. Just so, trade them out every ten thousand miles because they want. So your to be college, school. so so your college coach probably when he he wasn't paying for his car. Oh no no, you talking about college? Oh no no. I'm <laughs> saying no, but he wasn't paying for his car. I'm just saying he wasn't. Yeah. So that was the highest paying guy you probably had been around up to that point. Mm -hmm. He wasn't paying for his car. So I learned that shit in college. <laughs> like, Hugs wasn't paying for his Lex. Like, Hugs' Lexus game was crazy in college. Mm -hmm. Like, damn, you got the new one, too. The, damn, you got the truck. You got, but they just give him, like, so I got drafted and shit. We, I, knew, I knew of that. Mm -hmm. Where the local dealership at, man? You need to go ahead and deal with them. All right, so last question for you on, on this topic. <laughs> yeah. Damn, man, I was over there buying my cars, man. Shit. Yeah. What's the hardest part about making the transition to the NBA? You're on your own. Yeah. You know, you're on your own, yeah. and you you in there with adults. And, you know, there's going to be some teams where you're the only rookie, right? And, you know, you sitting there at 19, 20, everybody else, 25, 26, 27, they probably married with girlfriends, so they ain't hanging around with you. No married woman wants you, their, their man to hang out with a bachelor, right? That just seems like that's a no-no. Right, <laughs> right. So it's you, you, you get lonely. You, you're there by yourself. So um, you know that's what usually was gets you in trouble because you really have no, you have no blueprint, no foundation. It's like you planned and y'all go y'all separate ways, and then now, you know, <laughs> yeah. you know, you college. I got to try to figure out because you know all you know is what high school, college type of thing. So your house is gonna look exactly how your dorm look. <laughs> One room, probably done, with the kitchen, you know, in your bathroom, and then everything else empty, right? <laughs> like have a food time, mattress somewhere, have one of those for your friends, but for the most part, just, you just because you're by yourself, you don't know nothing. I think uh, the access, having the freedom and the access to me, because from Oak Hill straight from Italy to the NBA to having a, a great rookie season to having money in the bank and, like, you know, having a full summer, I think that was the hardest thing for me. Like, just the women, the partying, like, you know, just being able to have your own spot, being so young and horny at that time. <laughs> we can see it uh, on your face, brother. Yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> you were his reminiscing like, like a motherfucker right now. Hey, listen. The, hey. the women, the women, he smiled. <laughs> the party. party. Like. They got, the smile got bigger and bigger. Hey, uh, like, it went, uh, from, uh, a, damn, it went from a smirk <laughs> to a grin <laughs> to it. a full out day. Like, just. <laughs> To your mama that, telling you on the picture, smile, boy. Yeah, man. yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, damn, mom's finally not around, like, just doing whatever. I think, yeah, that was just like, just, just trying to maintain it, though. Trying to find a way to maintain it, being so young, you know. Um, for me, not having a father figure and things like that, so not really being taught, you know, um, a lot of things caught up to me early. Mm -hmm. Oh, shit. You hit the nail on the head, Jack. Yeah. Freedom and money. Yeah. And if you don't have the, no guidance as a, as a youth, it's going to catch up. And <laughs> listen, some, some form of fashion. You know? But yeah, I just think having, man, just the time on your hands, man, and nobody telling you how to use it. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you don't know, if you ain't around nobody positive, you're going to, yeah, I mean, I'm, just don't know what to do. And you're going to end up, yeah, but if you... Yeah, like I said, I'm coming in, man, and I didn't, like I said, I didn't have no father figure coming up. I got a couple partners. Shit, we out. <laughs> we on the you know, we're, I think in the streets, dog. I think sometimes, like, the, the, the public and the fans don't understand. Imagine you only have to go to work, right, an hour a day mm -hmm. at 11, but you got all the money in the world, right? You know, so let's, 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 10 times whatever you're getting paid right now. 10 times, maybe 20 times it. And then you only got to work an hour. And then some nights, you, your hour's at night. 
and you get cheered. <laughs> you get cheered. That's the NBA lifestyle, right? You got all the money in the world, but you the demand of your job is an hour and a day. That's all they demand, an hour for practice, mm -hmm. right? And then game day, you know, two hours. Yeah. That's, that's really your workload. So if you go by that workload, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, if you go by that workload, like, and, that's all you got. And, and it ain't now, like, today's NBA where the team got their hands on these guys, mm -hmm. right? When we played once April 15th, whenever your last game, guys had already shipped their cars oh, home. Yeah, yeah. They Listen, they, they didn't sign them. They month-to-month -month lease or they... Yep, yeah, yeah. <laughs> They, especially if they ain't making the playoffs, they out of there. And the team not seeing these guys until training camp. Training camp. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so you ain't seen me in four months. You don't know what you getting back. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you ain't seen me in four months. That's what you don't know what, what I'm Nothing. saying is. Yeah, you, no, you, you, he can leave looking like this. Absolutely. Come back like, wait a minute. <laughs> what did you do all summer? Nothing. <laughs> Now y'all got 30 days to give me a shit. Yeah. <laughs> like you plus, okay. like you show up, you show up a plus 60. Yeah, yeah. No, for sure. What did you you put on 50 in four months because you ain't did jack shit. Yeah. But no. drink and eat and wake up at fucking four in the afternoon. No, no, no. No, no. <laughs> no think about this. Man, no, that's that's why my Achilles, that's what I was doing. Drinking, yeah. partying, and waking up. But think, at four. think about think, think about the lockout, right? Two players in history, right? When they they hear about the lockout, it was like, oh, we're not playing this year. When they came back, you'd be like, yo, you went from a, a one, two, three, two, four, five. Yes. You are the five man now. That was Boris, right? Mm -hmm. And then you have Sean Kemp. Right? Just because the thought of it, like, oh, shit, we're going to have a lockout, so we ain't going to start the season, so we ain't working out. Nigga ate himself out the league, man. Literally. But you know, you have an hour. That's what I'm saying. It's not like it's not like college, man. Like, and then and then with that workplace, you only work in six months. <laughs> six months. So, to put it in context. forty hours a week. You know, y'all got forty hours a week. Shit, we not even get. We might get that in a month. Yeah. So to put it in context, what we're talking about coming into money, time. Before I got drafted, before I saw any NBA money, right. The most money I had, like, as far as a check that had my name on it, I could spend mm -hmm. at one time. Pell Grant. The first check was $700. The next check was $1875. Hey, them checks it was a hit. total of $2,500. That's the most money I had ever seen uh, for four like, my four years in college. I couldn't imagine, I can't count how many times I overdrafted my account in college. Mm -hmm. How many times I was in the negative, because I don't know how to manage money. How many times we came home from a road trip, my lights was off in my apartment. Man, you give me a Pell Grant money, ain't nobody told me you gotta pay bills first, can you? <laughs> no. Ain't nobody told me this That's at 18 years for. old. Yeah. Uh -huh. I didn't stay in the dorm my freshman year. I went, at first I wasn't eligible to stay in the dorm because I wasn't on scholarship at first, so I had to get an apartment. So what comes with apartment? Fucking responsibilities, mm -hmm. bills. Ain't nobody told, okay, before you go buy some shoes mm -hmm. or you go buy this polo, <laughs> you need to make sure the light paid. Polos are right? expensive too, let's mm -hmm. keep it real. So you learn each year, okay, I gotta pay this for it, but by the time my senior year come around, you got everybody doing, huh, 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 huh. <laughs> So I, I ain't learn shit, basically. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? No responsibility. I get drafted, number one. Check sh shit. <laughs> Lose my mind. Like, mm. dude, my mother, we ain't never had a car growing up. Mm. We used to catch the bus to go buy groceries, dog. My man, that, my mother never owned nothing. So what you think I'm finna do with this? Mm -hmm. What you, man, I ain't never seen nothing, had nothing, my own nothing. I'm 22. First time ever owning anything with my name on every, my mom, anything. And I'm in New York City. Boy, I'm telling you. <laughs> he said, man. boy, I'm telling you. <laughs> Woo! Sounds fun. Sounds fun. Huh? Nice sounds. The drape is, the curtain's up. Listen, <laughs> man, man, people ask me the best day of my career draft day. <laughs> draft day.
Yeah. It doesn't equate. Nothing equates to that day. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Cause it's it's up now. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's, yeah. They say it's up. Yeah. Oh, it's <laughs> up. <laughs> he said it's up. <laughs> yeah, I got a question. So, yo, know, when you first get your first paycheck, right? Um, you know, you, the. You know, the thing they always say is like, you, you know, you should buy your mom a house or, you know, you should mm-hmm. take care of your parents and things like that. Like, what would be your advice for youngins coming in when they first get that paycheck? What should they do with it first? Yeah. It depends, like, it depends on your situation. Now, these, nowadays, they are a little more, more of these guys come from some better upbringing than a lot of us did. I don't know the percentage of it, it but it's second. Yeah, you like it's, now, NBA now is like these guys came from. They growing up in houses. They not. They not. Yeah, they not. They ain't growing up in project. Yeah, they not. A lot of these dudes ain't growing up in project. Okay, let's just call it what it is. Mm-hmm. They growing up in decent. Some of them, yes. There's still some back, some stories from guys mm-hmm. from the inner cities in LA, that Dallas and other places. That's yeah, yeah that's rough. Yeah, there, there are. Yeah, <laughs> but. It depends on the background. So your question, it depends on what you come from. Like, there's no need for KJ to buy me a house. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But if it wasn't the case, then I, I'm not expecting it, but if he did it, what could somebody say? You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. What, could, what could somebody say? No, don't do, you, don't, don't do that for you. That, no, that ain't what you're supposed to do with your money. Right. You know what I'm saying? But do you think, it's, you think parents should... You think parents should encourage their kids no. to want to buy? Okay, no. so look, themselves. no, okay. something for them, something for themselves because you want to get there. No, okay, look, you take care of yourself first and foremost. Yeah, the kids. Like, that should be the message. Right. But a lot of parents in a lot of situations, they live vicariously through their kids. So when they make it, it's we made it. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It's the well, you gonna take care of us. We need this. We need this house. We, it's, it's that, right. you know what I'm saying? Right. So it's those pressures to, mm-hmm. that some parents put on their kids, which is unfair, I'm saying? Because, no, like, the truth of the matter is you had your fucking shot, and whatever, to be whatever you wanted to be, whatever right. happened, it didn't pan out for whatever that dream was, if that's what you wanted it to be, you know what I'm saying? Right. Don't put that on your child to, like, that's a lot of pressure. It's, it's pressure because... One, he doesn't know nothing about money, and you don't know nothing about money. Mm-hmm. So what happens is, let's say you're the number one pick, right? You're making, you know, three million. Or so let's just say four. Well, after taxes, you know, you got about two five, right? Mm-hmm. Your parents want a house. They always want a two million dollar house, right? Now you got, you don't have that money in your account when they want it, yeah. right? You didn't get a check yet. You know, you, you got drafted in the summer. Right, so now you gotta borrow money from your agent, right? You gotta borrow money from your agent or get a loan out from the bank, right, to get them a $2 million house. You gotta put half a million dollars on it or something. Now they got a mortgage, right? Now you gotta furnish that house. You gotta buy them a car, right? Mm -hmm. Get a new wardrobe. So, you know, before you even started the season, you probably done spent 700. 700,000, 800,000 before you even touched anything for yourself. Right. Right? Right. So before that season's over with, 90% of the kids are already in their second year's money. Okay. They already on their second year's money. So that's all that's happening is like you're putting them in a better situation, right? You know, you know, if they already have a house, fixing the house up or paying the mortgage off buying them a new whip, right? Trying to, you know, that makes sense. But when you're trying to really just upgrade, for a guy, you're going to upgrade them, then you're going to upgrade yourself. Now, two people are spending on the same one money. Yeah. And that's mostly what ends up happening at the beginning. Now that, that, that player is, like, he's really searching for his second check. So let's take, like, somebody like, like Zoe, right? You know, that $5 million house, that his dad got, that was his, where he had to get a condo. Right? He had to get a condo, you know, so whatever cars he bought, then the water company, right? Then you got to put money in the water company, you got to put money. So whatever your dad wants, that's coming from your Laker, Laker money because you didn't get a shoe, shoe deal, right? So, you know, most of his early money with the Lakers was being 
put on Pops and trying to build the company. Right. So him signing that new deal gave him relief. Now look at him and then look at the second son. Mm -hmm. Has no responsibilities. None. I ain't got to buy y'all shit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I ain't got to buy you nothing that's already been done. So when you look at the two, when it's all said and done, they can play the same amount of years. One's going to be living here, one's going to be living here. Mm. Like, you know, one doesn't have, like, you know, Zoe probably spent eight, nine million of his dollars, you know, building, trying to build the empire for the family. Yeah. And the other one, $100 million contract, number one pick, yeah. right? He going to touch $500 million <laughs> like this. Right. And Zoe is never going to hit any of that kind of money. You know what I mean? And that's just the, the difference of it. Like, when you ask white kids, you know, what's the first thing you bought? They've never said anything about buying their parents anything. Right, right. Nah, for sure. You know what I mean? And, and they're, they're, taught, they're taught to move the money forward, mm -hmm. right? So whatever money they get, they're saving. So when they get kids, they can take care of their kids for their kids to take care of their kids. Right. We're taught when we make money, move back. We got to take care of our parents. Yeah. We got to take care of our parents. So by the time we all get kids, there's no money left, mm. right? So the life we gave our parents, we can't give our kids. Mm. 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 And that's, that's, that's the problem we have. And we're given the lifestyle that we're supposed to be giving to our kids for our kids to move it forward. We're giving it to our so there's no generational, we can't use no the generational, generational wealth, wealth yeah. because we're moving it back. Right. And we're taught that. Yeah. yeah. yeah but, but we're coming from, but, but the problem, we're coming from a situation where... Yeah, know, we're already behind the eight we're ball. We're already behind the eight ball. Yeah, right. And we're trying, yeah. to, we're trying to make up for it. Starting you know? behind, I'm saying. Yeah, we're trying to make... Just, we're, just call it what it is. Yeah, yeah we're trying yeah. to make up for it. Like, it's, it should be like, listen, like... We're starting at a deficit. It's, yeah. The kids today, to be honest, the kids today shouldn't really have that problem. Because I was looking like like Wimby, right? How much did you make your being number one pick? My total deal was like fifteen million. Fifteen million. Taxes. He fifty five million. Mm. Right, <laughs> fifty five. Right, he's already like this. It's done. <laughs> right, right. You know what I mean? He's <laughs> right. right. <laughs> he's fifty five. He's fifty five. Like without a shoe deal. Yeah. That's his. That's his Spurs money. So, you know, it's di it's different yeah. money now to the point where. They can really afford the two million, three million dollar house and not even worry about it. But you know, but that's been the problem where you know we're moving the money back instead of trying to move it forward for our kids to be in that better situation. Mm -hmm. Like you know, our as as fathers, we want better for our kids, mm -hmm. right? And that's how we dream. And then when we get to that point, it's like, man, I, I, my my bad, man. You know, I had to take care of grandma. Right. right, 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 right. <laughs> you know what I mean? I had to take care of grandma when, you know, I should be, like, saving for when it's your turn. You can, you have the trainers and all this stuff, so you can go pass and go pass and go pass. Go pass. That's so, fair. I mean, last question. Listen, what point, so you, are you saying basically live humbly, live modestly initially? At what point do you really start to, that second contract is when you maybe start to spend the bread a little bit more? Man, listen, it's easy for us to say it. Yeah, but I understand it. You know what I mean? It's easy for say, man, you know, try to try to say, put yourself on a real budget. Because during that NBA season, you don't really, you don't really need. Yeah, you're not spending. There's no, there's no, there's really no spending, but you're gonna find ways to try to spend. You're gonna find ways. I'm go to the club, I'm gonna spend 50 racks. Knowing that 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 50 racks you giving on bottle service could really be something you do here. Right? And think about all the bottle service we done spent. Like, damn, that was the island. <laughs> I could have an island. Mm -hmm. Like, and, you know, you really have to be conscious of that and try not to you spent like, 50, enjoy You spent 50000 in the club before? Fuck yeah! I had, I had a bottle war with a, uh, with a, <laughs> one of them, them what, what do they call them, the, the dudes? <laughs> they, they really ain't got that money, but they pretend they do. <laughs> what do they call? Um, club promoters. Uh -huh. Yeah! <laughs> I had a club promoter, yeah. And, like, he buying bottles so I can buy bottles so he can buy bottles and... Like, dude, I got money. I, you know, I don't, just, I don't know. Let me, let me just play devil's advocate here. Do you think he was pump faking you? Do you think he was buying those bottles? No. Or, or he was no, no, he gave them free. And they're making you free. buy bottles to keep but them But I had, to, I, had to, I had to really, like, do one of these. It was, it was bottle war, right? We, we ordering <laughs> bottles. It's just me, Antoine, and Antoine's girlfriend. And we got about 30-something bottles. And <laughs> we didn't drink like that. Like, you know, I took a sip. So I had to tell him, I told the ladies, why y'all over there? I got all the bottles. Like, he, he probably got an apartment, right? So I said, you know what, since y'all want to do all this, all the Fiji water in here, I want to buy all of it. 
They got six packs. It was in live. Six packs. I want every case y'all got. I don't want him to hydrate. <laughs> don't want him to hydrate. So then all like all about just coming. We had water fight. I had to do it for the coach. <laughs> I no hydration the, allowed. I had to do it for the coach king. I had to do it for the coach king. I had to do it. I wasn't going to let the club promoter beat me, man. <laughs> you better eat it. Hey, you eat it to the club, but you keep water and try to keep up. This, I, I, this is what I do. Yes. And I'm about to do it again tomorrow oh, night. Nuts. <laughs> I'm turning Something all the wrong. faucets off. Because it, 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 it was wrong with you. We start, no, we started humble, bro. That's why I hate the sparklers. Fucking sparklers, man. Yeah. We competitive. Yeah. Right? I ordered two bottles. Me. Antoine, do that with your girl. We good, right? <laughs> Two bottles. He gonna bottle five. I can just see it just. And look. <laughs> give me, give me, give me 10. <laughs> man, Antoine, like, man, what you doing, man? Like, give nah, me, man, I'm, give me 10. I'm not letting him beat me, man. <laughs> nah, man. No. Yeah, you are, you, are. You, are, you are an amazing human being. That's, why, that's why I got... Petty guy, man. They said, Petty uh, guy, man. The chat uh, said you're at the club with a no hydration clause. Yeah, no, I bought... <laughs> uh, at, if anybody was in live that night, we had a whole water fight. <laughs> Every water, nobody got water. <laughs> Uh, uh, little Wayne in that motherfucker. You can't get no water. <laughs> you got to come to me. <laughs> All right, let's keep this thing moving. Oh, shit, man. Uh, they say <laughs> they say defense wins championships, <laughs> but what makes a player an elite defender? Obviously, things like steals and blocks are important, but Heat Center Bam out of bio thinks too many people are stat watchers and not game watchers. And there's been a, a lot of talk about maybe defensive athletes meeting being a steals and block award. You you go out there with four blocks in the first half. Do, do you think that's an accurate statement of the way it's viewed as kind of the guys who get the, the steals and the blocks are the guys that kind of get more credit defensively? Yeah. I mean, obviously, because we, we have a lot of people who are stat watchers. I mean, they don't really watch the game. They, they're stat watchers. They go straight to the college and be like, oh, well, you know, he had this much not knowing, like, he gave up, I don't know, probably... 40 in the paint, depending on who it is. Uh, so, yeah, I feel like if they watch the game, it'll be a different perspective, as always. All right, before we get into discussion, Brandon, can you rate that man purse for us? We'll yeah, I don't, yeah I'm, I'm tired of the man. Like, can we retire that look? The Indiana, was it the, supposed to be the Indiana Jones satchel? Uh -huh. Like, can we, can we get that man purse up out here? I'm tired of that. <laughs> like, get send a man a tough crowd. Just go get a wallet. No, you got a pin in your pocket. Let's go get a nice wallet. Where are you gonna put the wallet? Your yeah, back pocket. Right, right here. Go get some. <laughs> I'm old school. I got old the, school. The, the old head wallet cards. I'm like, wait, I don't need all this shit. We live in a digital world. But I mean, we, you don't even like, really need nothing. Case. I'm about to say, you just, you just need yeah, your. When I go on vacation, I carry my bag with me. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't want to lose shit. Well, I don't put shit in my pockets when I go on vacation. Well, yeah, va yeah, yeah like everywhere I go, yeah, yeah, I'm putting everything in my bag when I go on vacation. I ain't putting nothing in my pocket. Yeah. Wallet, money. Bring the fanny packs back. Like I, but <laughs> yeah. that's okay. Yeah, yeah, I can't. Yeah, vacation, my, yeah, yeah, I can't. Sure. Fanny pack. Yeah, I get yeah that when I'm traveling, yeah, no, other than that, like, no. The fanny packs are good. Not every day. Yeah, not every. So, can you start with you? Do you agree with Bam saying that too many people are box score watchers and not game watchers? Yeah, absolutely. Like, not a lot of people understand what what comes into playing defense, so they're not going to understand in no way what they're watching. So, yeah, they're yeah, they watching stats. Um, I love, everybody know the way I feel about AI. Like, Chuck, my man, 100 grand. Like, Chuck wasn't, we, what nobody considered a defensive specialist mm -hmm. by any stretch of imagination. And he won, and he was on defensive player of the year because he had steals. Mm -hmm. I'm saying he, I'm doing all, all defensive teams because he has steals and shit like that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So leading the league in steals, it's not like you. Yeah, no, nah, it's definitely. I I agree 100 percent with him because I didn't make all defensive team because I didn't I didn't average what two three steals a night, two three blocks. But anybody I played against, any matchups, any team, any. Scheme, anything you ask, any coach I played for, against, any player I played against, defensively, wasn't nobody more prepared or more willing to engage and switch picking roles and guard guys and, mm -hmm. and hold his own. Like, I'm one of a lot of them guys nowadays get praised for being able to guard one through five. Been doing that. Mm -hmm. Like, 
I'm mean, dead that. Like, only the guys I didn't, Shaq. Okay. That's it. Favorite. That's everybody. That's, 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 that's it. Mm -hmm. Like, for, my, for me, my size, my stature, mm -hmm. Shaq. But rest of them fives wouldn't have no problem. Mm -hmm. That's the easy work. Fours, three, like, come on, man. Like, guarding ones, coming out of timeouts, having to chase Gill around. Mm -hmm. Switching the pick and roll on Gill. We playing New Orleans, guarding Chris Paul, come out of timeouts, got to go chase AI around. Back in the day, playing Indiana, I got to, I'm chasing Reggie and Jalen around, and I got to go bang with Jermaine O'Neal and them down, but Davis, boy, like, it's chasing Sprewell and Allen Houston around, I got to go bang with Larry. And, come on, man, same game. This is out of timeouts. Okay, I got him, I got him, I got him, I got him. I've been doing this, and if people was watching the game knowing that, can't tell me I ain't, you're in, you're out. He had to guard me too. Like, <laughs> third game in the season. Yeah, third game. Nine. Uh, third game. Like, <laughs> no, I just thought. Just... No, I probably switched out there yeah. more than likely. Yeah, I yeah. listen, I ain't got no problem. Hey, switch. Yeah. My thing, I ain't gonna let you go by me. You're gonna have to shoot a jump shot. You better settle for that jumper. I'm gonna make you shoot a contested two, man. Like, if you look at the game, what I'm. I'm forcing you into the shot I want you to. You might want that shot, but if I'm doing do, do, I ain't letting you do, get to putting our team in harm's way on the back end and making you take a tough two, whether it's a tough, if you do get by me, you can best believe I'm swiping at that bitch up top twice. Yep. I'm trying to block it, swiping out your hand, like, come on, man, these dudes. That's why I never, like, like people think it's, when I say it, they think it's a crazy take, right? Oh. He said, this guy don't play defense. And then they go and look at gotcha. it. He made eight defensive teams. Yeah, I don't know what m metrics they use it, but he was trash on defense. Like, he was easy to go by. Like, I'm trying to figure out what are we considering defensive players. That's why I want to know. Give us the metrics of how you're judging. Because I was third in steals, and they were calling me a defensive player that year. Like, I ain't doing that. I'm ball watching. Like, I'm just tracking. Uh, I'm going for the steal. <laughs> like, I don't. like and I'm giving up points because... I'm putting. The, I'm trying to go for the steal. I'm trying to catch AI and Larry. You know what I mean? So, it's like, how are you guys rating defense? Like, on ball defense, I was great. Coming off pin downs, nah. Like, you did throwing knees and elbows and big man sitting there. Nah, I'm good on that. So I'm gonna take the long routes, right? Uh, like even fighting through like pick and roll stuff, right? That's that's a team part. Like if the big man don't show and my guy turn the corner, that's not on me. Right? That's his job. My job is to make sure he goes over. Now, if he goes the other way, my fault. You're not calculating that. I know you're not. I know you're not calculating that. Like, if I'm got my guy in the post and, I, you know, he's doing this and I get him to take a bad shot and the, the big man get the block, who gets that rating? Right? It's, 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 you guys are not judging defense on how it really is. Like, what is a defensive player? Defensive players. Who's, who's netting everything. He's netting everything. I try to go, like, okay, I'm about to hit him with the fake and go back baseline, but he came over and stopped me from doing that. That's a defensive point because I was getting ready to go baseline. He was trash, right? But it got stopped. I'm getting ready to go middle, and I'm getting ready to hit him with the dime, and the big man came over already early, right? He stopped that. Now I found his man. That's not his fault. That's his teammate's fault, right? I'm coming down the lane, big man came over, stopped me, I dump it off. That's not the big man's fault. That's the guard's fault, because the guard's supposed to snap back, right? So, <laughs> you know what I mean? There's, like, you guys are not, you guys are not judging defense on how it is. It's a team thing, but you need to know everybody's responsibility. That's everybody's responsibility. So, if the big man is doing his job, like, like on, on, on you, you, you guys' team. It was you first, then J Kid. On Cavs, Vrazi out by himself, damn near. Right? Um, like Lakers, a little bit of Derek Fisher. Um, Kobe keeping the ball away from you. Mm -hmm. And Shaq. Cause, but, you know, the thing with Kobe, once you get past him, he ain't playing defense no more. Right? It's, you know, you get by him, he gonna turn, point, got, got him, get him, get him, yeah. Mm. <laughs> right? So I knew that, like, once I get by him, I don't have to worry about him d coming behind me or trying to sweep down. You know, I just gotta worry about Big Fella now, 
right? You know, um, like there's, there's, there's guys that, you know, they get to no credit yeah. for the things that they do because you don't, you don't see what they're doing. You, yeah, you're trying to run a play, doom, doom. I call it the black, the down, out, boom. You go to pass that, boom, boom. I kick it out of bounds. Yeah. Like that, defense. That's a defense, yeah. You go, boom, I'll get my hand on the steel. Now, we, somebody else get the steel. I got the deflection. Somebody gets but I don't get no credit for the deflection. Yep. Like, what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> no, just, or you go to make your move, boom, boom, and I make you travel. Yep. Like, no, no, you went to your shit. Like, no, I, I stood you up and made you change direction, and I made you travel. Like, it, that's or a, you trying to run a cross screen, I'll blow your whole play up. <laughs> like, you can't even run your cross screen because I didn't blew the whole fucking play up. That happened because y'all knew our offense. Yeah, because like, they ran the shit that we run. I'm not letting them run nothing. Nothing. Whatever he knew to throw the ball. Listen, if he's trying to run some shit, throw it away from me mm -hmm. or call something different when I'm out of the game because you're not gonna be able to run it. You're not. Little shit in the game. We playing the Lakers. God rest his man. So I'm tired of Kobe busting our ass. We come out of time and I grab my guy. Listen, man, I'm finna run at him when he get when he cross half court to get the ball. I'm gonna run at him. Mm -hmm. Nobody know that. That's now, Joe. Oh, I love that show. So, so we gonna get that a name? What show? So what we gonna call that? <laughs> like coaches ain't letting you put defensive shit in that you, the way the way I guarded stuff wasn't team the way other guys, the other bigs guarded pick and rolls and mm -hmm. cross screens and mm -hmm. no, I'm gonna guard it this way because it's effective. Mm -hmm. You teach them to guard it that way. <laughs> I'm going to guard it this way. And, he's, and every coach I've had, you know what? Do what you do. That's, do what you do. I said, it's just, it's just, it's just, it's just, it's, it's, frustr it's frustrating because it's like, it like if 90% of the guards are using pick and roll, how are you judging a guard's defense? How are you judging the guard's defense? Because it's, it becomes someone else's responsibility to stop the ball now. Mm -hmm. Well, I guess, like, if he gets over the screens. If, yeah, oh, so now it... But now it depends on the coverage, though. Because I know but I get over that motherfucker. It now. depends on the coverage. Yeah. So some teams play, let him get over the... I'm saying, let him get over the top. You got the nail, help him make him kick it to the wing, and mm -hmm. then they rotate to the corner. This man rotates. It depends on how you're playing. <laughs> some teams down it, some teams jumping it, some teams... F now, now, think about it. I'm late. Let's say I'm late on getting over, right? He can't turn the corner because it was a hard show, or he can't get in the lane because the nail guy there. Now the nail guy is there, they pass to that guy, that guy shoot. Who's wrong? <laughs> me? Yeah. And then the guy who didn't help you because you helped me. Because you stopped my man from doing So yeah. you get the deep, you're supposed to get the defense to stop and stop him, make him make that pass. He goes here, you veer. It, it's. Yeah. Mm. They looking at matchup to matchup, not realize that no, that's not his fault. That's his fault. That's why fights start. You know, that's why fights start in them locker rooms during film time. Click. <laughs> Yo, listen, them, uh, that film. <laughs> Click. <laughs> that film. <laughs> that film Click. the next day might be the most dangerous thing. Yeah, you get subbed down because you thought morning. it was your fault. You be like, that wasn't my responsibility. I did. I snapped back. He threw it over here, or even or, or simple shit like you know what I mean, like. Guy coming in, and you do one of these, stop the ball, they throw it to the, the corner, and that corner gets to hit the three? That's my fault. We don't lead the corner. Now, if he turn the corner and I don't help, that ain't my responsibility. Yeah. That's big man. He's supposed to come over. Right? So it's... That's wild. Or you playing with a big that don't talk. Or a big that don't like you. Yeah, both. Yeah, the big that don't talk. Yeah, the big, that's, that's, yeah, the big that don't like you probably good worse. Good luck. Oh, yeah, because that's the yeah, that's part. probably worse. Yeah, that's good luck. The big that don't that talk. That? A big that didn't like me. Nah. nah. Yeah. I mean, when you, it's, it's usually if you don't give them ball. That yeah, hand, yeah, so. but you, but you see it on the other talk, side when you play in teams like oh. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, like if you let your point guard get hit with a blind screen, like yeah, I trip, I trip, I tripped Carmelo because of that. Is my. I was picking up uh, John Stockton. Boom! And then, then one of those trips, like I, I didn't know it was caught. Ah! He didn't look back, like, oh, uh. He, he wasn't gonna go do no, shit. No, no, he stood over me and said, don't get mad at me, get mad at your big. You know how you look all the way down there, big all the way down there, he ran down there, like, man, that hurt. Yeah, no, I ain't I, picking him up no <laughs> more. <laughs> you yeah, know, that shit bothers me, though. I ain't never make a defense, all defense team. All right. How many years do you feel like you had a legitimate case to make one? Not the last couple, two, three years, but shit, every year in Denver, three years in Jersey, every year in Denver. 
At least a shot, at least one of them fucking teams. It's got three of them. Right. <laughs> Shit. Right. Every year they got three of them. For 15 years. Mm -hmm. You mean to tell me I ain't Listen, Come on, man. Line them up, dog. Let, let, let's just think about it. Let, let's, throughout my 15 years, the fours, the threes, the defensive guys who... Yeah, that, that was, see, see who won. No, I'm saying Ben Wallace won a few, but I'm just like, just other than Ben, rebounding and blocking shots. See, they count that as defense. Yeah, they do the fucking rebounding. They count, de they count rebounding as, as actual defense. So shit, I mean, if we're gonna do that, Russell, Russ Russell should be fucking yeah, defensive player. player. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Every year, yeah. Every year, yeah. but they, they, that's how because they count. Yeah, you, so if you have like four, if you average three blocks, and you, and you getting nine defensive rebounds a night, 10 defensive rebounds a night. Danny, how you, what they gotta do with defense? What the, and when you got, let me stop. What they gotta do with defense? Like you, you when get you got rebounds. Some other guy, like just, Give me them teams. I don't want to, uh, cause I, I don't want to sound like a hater. It ain't, but it ain't hating. That, because when you got they, some guys on some, because you got guys on teams that got deals, with their teammates to get fucking re like when we was playing big, the guys that got incentives in their contract. Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. I, all I, that shit, you know what I'm saying? They going to get rebounds. They guys getting out the fucking way, the ball coming. They yep, yep. No, no, no. that shit. You know you what got, I'm you saying? Got, you got to rebound incentives in your deal, like that kind of shit. Which, which I had teammates my. It was a, my, both yeah. the years where I'd be on the basket get a rebound. I got it. They push me out of bounds. Like that, and, or the ball like fucking go out you, of bounds. Nobody get it. The fucking ball going out of bounds. Yeah. You fight over the ball. The fucking ball go out of bounds. <laughs> really, dude? Because they got they got they got them claws. That's what I said. Them claws, man. <coughs> them NBA claws, man. They it, it makes everyone selfish. No, and I'm just. Me, I want who the bigs in that. Like I want an honest success. And I can like, I can tell like, you who is good. Like, just think about the big the fours I played against over my time. Elton Tim Brandon, Duncan, Dirk, KG. Tim Duncan, KG deserve it. KG ben deserve it, Tim Duncan deserve it. Ben Wallace deserve it? Yeah, for, but he kind of rebounds. Like, I don't... Like, he was... Kirilenko, ben was good guarding... Ben was good at guarding bigs. Because mm -hmm. he was strong. Post-up bigs. Post-up bigs. You know what I'm saying? Ben went out there switching, picking rolls regularly. He just hard show. He's gonna try to hard show, try to get back. I'm saying? Like that's why Carolinko guard multiple positions. But but that's why but so that's why, if you notice, that's why someone like Rashid Wallace go in there and heighten their game, right? Because he was big enough to guard Shaquille and all the big fives, right? With great defense, which made Ben sit back and he gets to like challenge over yeah. the top and mm. do all that extra stuff. He can roam more. And that's why they, they team went different, because now you got two dudes back there. One is solid, and one is the hyper dude with Tayshawn Prince. It was, you yeah. know what I mean? It was. Yeah. So you got, but, um, so, but you named the defensive player of the year. We think about no. just guys. No, a, no. Or, no, or just first the fours. Team. First team all defense, second team all defense. Third, like, that's, like, that's. Karolinko, yes. Man. Absolutely. Yeah, I'm first and second. <laughs> like, go like 2000, what? Four. Like, four or five. So, five. four or five. Ben Wallace. It's the same ones every year. Tim Duncan. It's the same ones every year. Marcus Canby. Kira Lenko. Like Marcus. MC average block, but rebounds. There's blocks and rebounds. Rebounds. Right? Blocks. Like, I don't remember him. Like, I've never played and said, like, oh, I'm, ooh, I need to watch out for him. And he averaging like four, three, four blocks a game. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's, okay. Well, next year. MC didn't guard the toughest guy on the team. Yeah. So, Ben Wallace, Kira Lenko. 05, 06, Ben Wallace, Kira Lenko. Same dude. Second to yeah, Chauncey, KG, Marcus Canby. Yeah. See, so, like you can see, my my those, those, my, my position is gonna be all shooting guards. Yeah. This is wild. Like and I'm guarding, but think I'm guarding best, everybody. But yeah. That's what I said. I don't know. Like that should play. I'm guarding everybody every night, no matter who it is. The team's best post player. I'm guarding. Team best wings. I'm guarding. Man. Yeah. Ask him. Huh? Ask them. Line them up and ask them when they had to play me. I want to know the synopsis, what people think. Hey, damn sure I ain't going to say it was sweet. I, can, I, I, wanna know I know. <laughs> that I do know. I would like I to see I do like, know. Like, 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 let's say somebody like Shaq, right? Like, like where is he getting his rating from? Like, like, you know, I mean, I know, like, you know, who he is back there, but 
Pick and rolls, he was never there, getting shot easy. Mm-hmm. Right? Every, every time. Every time. Like, pick and roll, yeah. easy, easy. That, that's, his posi- that's, his, that's his rating. This is you. Like, it's a pick and roll. Your man setting the pick. Yeah. You're supposed to be here, and you're giving up points. So you're not getting discredited for those points, right? Um, no big man score, so, I mean, you know... There really wasn't no real true post players that you were guarding. So, like, I just didn't understand. Like, I just know most of his defense was he going to hit the first nigga that came in there hard. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. He going to hit them hard so everybody just want to take jump shots. <laughs> that turned. <laughs> which to- made the game, which made it easier for them. It was smart. No, that going in there and him turning to the side, dog. <sighs> that shit. Come on, man. Oh, you ain't had to worry about that. Huh? Going to try to dunk on him and he to do this shit here. Oh, all, you, all, all that just turn to hit you. Boom. Man. That's why nobody never tried to dunk on him. No, like that's that. why he ain't never. You, there's nothing out there. It's a tip dunk. Yeah, that's the only way you catch him. Tip. A tip yeah. dunk. That's it. There's nothing there's nobody. Nothing if he coming. see you coming, ain't nobody ever dunked on him. Because he's 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 pushing all his weight and then his side. <laughs> like, so he ain't coming like this. No. Yeah. He, Boom. <laughs> you can hear it. Boom. Yeah. Ah. Yeah. How many he got? One. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's two more. You know, I'm going up in the clips so we find he coming. I'm getting quick to the back. Yeah. <laughs> 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 hey, float. Hey, you know, yeah, no, uh-uh, big fella. Uh uh-uh, that shit hurt. Yeah, that shit <laughs> hurt. Mm-hmm. Let's keep this thing moving. So we gotta talk about uh James Harden. After skipping Sixers Media Day to hang out in Houston, Harden headed back to H down and skipped Sixers practice today. He was a no show. So according to uh, Shams Tarania, James Harden's a no-show at Philadelphia 76ers practice today, sources tell the Athletic and Stadium. Harden has not been present with the team since Sunday. <laughs> In response to Harden missing practice, Embiid had this to say, maybe he has something to do, I'm not sure. I don't know if anything was going on because he's been here, he wasn't here today, so obviously I think he probably has something important to do or something came up. So there were reports that Harden was in, in Houston actually working out, getting ready for the season. I think this was an unexcused absence from the team, though. Nick Nurse was kind of a little confused as well. But is Harden hurting his trade options <laughs> by not playing ball with the Sixers? Do, I mean, no. What season is he getting ready for? Look at what you're trying to see. He's, He's in Houston but, working out. Has That's, he played one preseason game? Nope. He, was, he said he wants to play, and there was talks. I think the Sixers have their last okay. preseason okay. game on Friday. I don't care about what he – has but he played yet? He said he wants to play in that final game. We don't – Answer that question is no. No, okay, so, so no. he hasn't played a game yet. No. no. But can I give you all the details? No, so what the fuck is the, the problem? The detail is no. So he's – Shit. <laughs> he said he want to, though. No, fuck so, what he want to do. <laughs> has he? So he's practiced this whole time but ain't played in no games. I think he's played in one team scrimmage as well. I don't know how much he's actually been so playing. So he hasn't played in no game. No. Right? So, so he's practicing every day, but not playing in an actual game with the team. Well, they haven't seen him since Sunday. Yeah, now he's in Houston. Yes, I mean, Why do we care? Like, I, I'm sorry. Like, I think, I think Philadelphia. No, no. What team is he on now? In Philly? Yeah, the Sixers. <laughs> yeah, the yeah, Sixers. Uh, the Sixers. Like, I think Philly want us to do his, they dirty work, mm. right? Well, we supposed to bash him because, like, y'all mismanaged him. So we supposed to bash him because he didn't show up to practice and he's practicing somewhere else. Like, to be honest, the fuck does he need to practice there for if he ain't playing in a game? Like, like make it make sense before we, we start bashing someone. Like, like... Take care of your own shit. Like, fuck that. Like, you take care of your own shit. This is y'all problem. Right. Right? This is y'all right. problem. He was in practice, and what happens during game day? Y'all ain't demanding him to go in the game, but y'all demanding him in practice? Like, this ain't our problem. Like, I'm sorry. I'm, t- I'm, I'm tired of taking sides. Right? <laughs> you know, I'm tired of taking sides. This is y'all fuck up. If he ain't showing up to practice, find a motherfucker. What, what, what we care for now? Right. Like he said, right? This, we don't is, care. this is y'all we second don't care. year doing this. Yeah. We don't care. Fucking Daryl Moore, you created this fucking monster. Mm-hmm. Deal you with it. it. You created this monster in Houston. He followed you to fucking Philly. You all went there together. Brotherly love. Yep. <laughs> God damn it. You created deal with it. It's definitely not to really give, love. Like, yeah, like, you know what I'm saying? Who gives a fuck at this point, man? Like, hurting it, helping it. It is what the fuck it is. Like, I, the analogy I gave you the other day. Mm-hmm. We're talking about the James Harden shit. You got a Coke, got a fucking Mento. Mm-hmm. Put shit in it. Mm-hmm. You seen what it do. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck we still, like, seriously, like, 
Darren Moore, it's your fucking, deal with it. You, you created this fucking, this damn thing, deal with it. And we're not sexist fans up here. We don't care. No, but that's what I'm saying. You care? Like, you, like, we I can, ain't walking through that door. We can pretend that, you know, what James is saying is not true, right? He took a pay cut, you promised him something, and you were reneging. That's your problem now. Don't, don't, don't have the media coming in here trying to take the pressure off of you. That's the problem. You, you want to throw everything, just like Ben Simmons, you want everyone to go at James so we don't look at you. Right? We don't see what you did. No, the NBA don't investigate. What did you promise the man? What you like? You think, like, you want us to think that he's doing all this for no reason. Like, I'm pretty sure we're not talking about ten million dollars here, yeah. right? I'm pretty sure we're talking about real money yeah. that was promised, and he took pay cuts, and you're reneging on it. Right, because at the end of the day, whatever happens after this, it's gonna be yeah. hundreds of millions lost. Let me tell you what I think happened. He had a conversation with James without speaking to other people. Mm -hmm. You made these promises and it ain't your checkbook. It ain't your checkbook, yeah. That's what I think, that's what this smells like to me. Mm -hmm. You made promises that it ain't your checkbook to motherfucking right. You go to this man that write the checks, and this man be like, who? <laughs> Girl, who what? Him? You out of your rabbit ass mind. Now you got to go back and be like, uh, shit. Uh, James, like, yo, where that money at, dog? You like, well, what had happened was, uh, 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 now you. But if you harden, are you Maybe blaming Moore for that? Yeah, he, yes. that's, so he had the conversation, me, yes. But if Moore, you promised me and I go up the ladder I'm and they not, say no. I'm not, but I'm not listening but, to no owner. But, like, I know, th huh? that, no, general manager. I mean, general manager, I'm not listening yeah. to him. Like, he not, like you but say, that's he's not his relationship that right there. But, but, that, but that's his man, 100 grand. Like you, yeah, yeah like, but that's not your man, no. That's, that's, that, in his case, in, in this case, in this case, that was his man. That was his man. They was in Houston together, listen. Now created that bullshit in Houston together, him. Maury, James, then Tony created that shit in there. They fought, they fought each other. No, they boys. They had a conversation. He promised that man money. That's not true. Now you got to go have a conversation with somebody who actually making the decisions. Yeah, that, that, that's what I said. It's like you, you want us to, won't he just be a professional? Cause, because none of y'all would. None of y'all would. Half the media that's, that's, that's doing this, Y'all are quitting jobs because you can't get along on, on TV or behind the scenes. Y'all arguing about seats and shit. Names, who name goes first? Not, not hundreds of million. Y'all arguing about little things and leaving. I can't, I, the way we argue, I don't like the way we argue. I don't like the way she smells. We're going to have to get rid of her. That's what y'all fighting for. Right? And then going to say, well, he should just be a professional. <laughs> Fuck out of here, yeah. man. Nobody want to hear what y'all got going on, man. We watching y'all, too. And that's just the way it is. Like, I'm not going to sit here and say, you know, James need to go out there and, you know, play, and this is going to hurt. That's not my, yeah. that's not my judgment, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? Like, like I, I'm, taking, I'm taking a stance at a, as a human. If he's disgruntled, why would I want him to put on my uniform? Why, why would I want the cook I just said can't do nothing, cook my meal? No. <laughs> no. But maybe they don't care about losing the money either. So if they don't want to trade, they probably just like, well, whatever. No, no. Like, like no. just sit here, just sit. No, 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 no. This is, what they, this is what they think they can do. What they think they can do is, because it's money, mm -hmm. right? This is how, you know, the uppers think. It's money. You care about money. So every game you miss, I'm going to fine you. Okay. Every practice you miss, I'm going to fine you. So they feel that I can fine you so much that you're going to want to play. And then, woo, everything is settled. No, I mean, probably not. But ah! Ah! Got sub me in. Ah! Woo! Back. Low back. I mean, Buttocks. I, get, I feel like you've given this recipe and formula, and we've seen players use it. Yeah, used it very well. So if you hard now, why you're in Houston? Why you not just back out of me? Yeah, because it's too late. It's too late. 
He it's, can't. It's too late to back you out of me? Yes. So that's what I'm saying, that, and they know that. That's why it's just like, okay. So but they're, they're, the, I feel like the Sixers just playing it like, okay, well, whatever. We gonna sit here and wait. There's nothing, whatever. There's you nothing have, he could do or I say. I mean, right I don't now. know. I both, just, but that's what I said. Both of them in. The, they both, both losing. Them. But that's why I said is the Sixers thing because when James do these little things and the media kills them, it takes them off the hook, right? Like they want you to play. James don't want to play, so it it puts the pressure all on James because he's the one. We're all looking, just like a lockout, right? When a lockout, who they, who they blame on a lockout? The players making too players. much money. Yeah. Not realizing we're only locked out because them, them, them 30 owners, <laughs> they had conversations about how they want to split their revenue and the TV deals and, you know, the Lakers and the, all them big money deals. Like, no, 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 I'm not, you too poor for me, right? They, the Lakers then start big boying them small, them small teams. And then it's like, well, take it from the, the players. Well, then we're going to have a lockout, and then they come look at us. When the original argument was... Y'all give up more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all got to give up more to make them feel happy when the, the, the Lakers and all the New Yorks and all of them guys that want to split their profits with the owners. It had nothing to do with the players. But then they make us look like we the bad guy and we make too much money. You know, they always yeah. try to deflect it to... No, no, for sure. ...the player themselves because... Yeah, and instead public. Of, yeah, instead of putting it all in the context and looking at it. Mm -hmm. But I just think in this situation, they just they just gonna sit there and just wait. Just gonna sit there and wait. So yeah. do y'all see a problem based on the information that we have and we know? Do y'all see a problem with what James is doing and would you react in a similar fashion? If you was guaranteed some bread, you took less money for the team, and then they tried to pull that deal. I wanna know, to be honest, I wanna know how much it is. Mm. I, the reason I wanna know that is, I mean, we can just think about it like, He's on a max deal, probably was looking for another max, right? Which is what, about 250? Shit, yeah. no, him? 300? Probably. <laughs> you need an all NBA team, so probably like, what, like 200 ish around? Yeah. 200 something? Yeah, like, like 250. Yeah, like 250. Let's 250. Just say 250. Yeah, like 250. Yeah. And after this year, let's say he gets a uh, one year 20. So uh, that's I, 230. Uh, that's 230 guaranteed. Just that. that just that alone is. Is lost. I we don't know what he had to take. We don't know what extension he he was supposed to get. True. Yeah, that, see, that's so. Do James really think they was gonna give him five for two fifty? But that's not what I want to think. But, bro. You, you, but uh, come on, man. But you're my friend. Like you're not, like, you're not my friend. This know what I'm saying? Business. But, but no, 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 that's business. But. But to that point, if me, if if I've done everything, King, everything is lined up. No, when but let's look at the facts. No, let's look at the facts. Fuck that. Mm -hmm. Let's look at the facts. Yeah. Line the last four years up of James Harden, mm -hmm. of this current deal that he's under. He on the last year of this deal right now, mm -hmm. right? The last four years of this deal that he's been under. What? positive things have James Harden done for himself or a basketball organization? In basketball terms, he took a sacrifice to try to win in a sense of points. When? Going to Philly. Right? Instead of trying to average 30 and 10, he's, he's, he went down to 22. He, like this well, man went from, 30, that, he went from 30 some all the way to 22. So well, someone told him that, you know, we don't need you to shoot as much. Well, I think okay, I, that, I think in Brooklyn. I think it started in Brooklyn. The, the man, like, like, yeah, like, but, like, 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 before, but, like, like, before, like, 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 I know, but what I'm saying, saying is, say, the sabotage, but, he's trying to get out of that situation. But I'm saying, but Maury, you can't. He left got first, me. right? If I'm not mistaken, he, he, got, he left the situation first, and yeah. yes or no. Yeah, like, so that wasn't positive. We all signed to do this shit together, and you bounce. But the point I'm making is, he bounced because of what, though? Maury. It, no, no, because uh, because Kai wasn't playing, right? Yeah, and, yeah I mean, he didn't. It wasn't a situation that he thought was gonna whatever they're talking behind the scenes. But but you Maury, still, you came and got me out of that. Yeah, you did. So, but what? Moving forward, look, look, looking at the next five years, I'm supposed to give you two. I'm supposed to try, like give you 250. If I'm, I understand we are, we are naive in our ability at times. Mm -hmm. We are naive about our future at times as athletes, and what we still have in the tank as athletes. We are naive about these things at mm -hmm. times. I think this is one of those situations that an athlete is being naive in his thought process about his future, about who he is as a person and as a basketball player. 
Mm -hmm. Right? If I'm being honest with myself as an athlete and as a person, and I look in the mirror, I can't, if I'm James Harden, I can't expect them people to give me another five years for $250 million, dog. I don't give a fuck what he promised me sitting at the dinner mm -hmm. table. If I'm being honest, he tell me that shit, I'm leaving that movie meeting thinking he a fucking liar. For sure, for facts. If I'm being honest about the, putting everything on the table and being having with myself, fuck having a conversation with anybody else. Mm -hmm. If I'm being honest with myself in this situation, everything that I've put on the table, the last three stops, everything that I've put on the table, why would somebody sign me up for another five for the maximum amount of money that they could possibly give me? Because even... We're naive, to my point. No, we're, no, no. we're naive. We're, we're, we're naive, but we're still, if we just go off of the numbers, 22 and 11, 22 and 10, double-double, led the league in assists. I'm still worth that money. And the most no, you signed James was four years. Who you years are? You got um, to put I'm everything. Years, put everything in. Four years, years two hundred million was the, the max Philly could no, no, offer. No, no, no. I get what you're saying, but yeah, so, no, I, okay. I, I get what you're saying. I'm is like put, the, the naive part, but the, the the part that makes it really naive is you are my guy. You know who I am, mm. right? So you know I'm gonna take a pay cut for you, and that's the problem. So that means you use our friendship mm -hmm. to make it look good for the owner. Yeah. yeah, I can get my guy to, you know, I can get my guy to, you know, take a pay cut to make it fit. Mm -hmm. Right? So you come to me and tell me, and because we have this relationship, I do it. Right? So, yeah. you know, one, one uses power. Absolutely. And that, that's the problem. And I think that's what really hurts James. I don't really think this is about James, the kind of money James has from before, yeah. from his Adidas deal, yeah. right? This ain't really about money. Not at all. I mean, I, listen, four year, 200, yeah, we cool. I can yeah. get that, I can do that. But this is more about the principle. Like, dude, you, you really made me, you used my friendship against you. Like, you, you used. That's the name. You know of what I mean? Name. This is like, this is no different than I get we it. driving in a car and you gotta, uh, like, Absolutely gotta I burn set the my boy up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you have to burn I the car. Set my, you know what I mean? I gotta burn yeah. a car and I like you, you know, you know. I'm on strike two, you ain't got, and it's like, nigga. You, 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 burning, you burning him, you use him being, you know, yeah. like, he's looking up to you. And that's, that's the problem I see James having. Like, like I, I know I don't supposed to trust you, but I did, and I do. But that's why you got to go to the, the guy. Who's the guy? I always like, make my You got to go to I the guy. Don't. You don't yeah, go to the, to you don't go you to the middle man. man. You don't go to the middle man. But you, you, middle you, man. Had, you had the ability and you built the, enough to have that relationship mm -hmm. with him, with the owner, Mr. Poland, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But so James, don't have, to my, James don't have that luxury that, that, that we know of mm -hmm. to go and be able to have that conversation. He was, he was relying on his guy. And like I said, if he's telling me this, you got to take the shit with a grain of salt. You have to. Yeah. In these situations, we've proved that. No. But it's unfortunate. Yeah. It's very unfortunate that if that's the way it transpired, that he relied on this man's word and he, and he, and he, and he backs that. So, yeah, that's a fucked up situation. Yeah. Yeah. All together. Yeah. But Gil, yeah. to your point, the 200 mil, you're not going to be, I don't care how much money you've made previously. If you're looking at 200 mil and now you pull this bullshit on me. No, I mean, that's what I'm saying. 200 mil is cr on the way out. 200 mil is on the way out. And this could be my last big deal in my career. And I've been riding with you. Like, this is a, we, 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 we see how just like we negotiating and you not negotiating with me fast enough. You see how that looks. <laughs> right, you know, like you, you didn't offer me. We know how that looks. Imagine a man saying, yeah. making you take less money to get it in the back end and he don't want to give you the back end. You know what I mean? It's, oh, I guess it's fucked up. But it's, let, let me do that to Drake. Yeah, I got it. I got it. I got a, uh, I got a meal for you. 500 up front, five in the back. Give him the five up front. He do a whole concert. And be like, yeah, man, about that backhand. I ain't got you. Right? <laughs> Ooh, boy. 
<laughs> that concert wasn't as good as years past. So yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, but that's just the way they use it, though. But that's, they, 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 they use it. They, yeah, they, they do. They, they use it, man. It's un, like I said, it's an unfortunate situation that he's in, but he's in it. Multiple moving parts, multiple people at fault. Mm -hmm. What you gonna do at this point? But that's what I said. Like we can, like the media, we can sit here and say whatever we want about James. But I know one thousand percent, Philly can say whatever they want. There's no way Philly wants him on that court. They already know there's nothing good that's gonna come out of it. We seen Game Six or Seven in the playoffs, and he took, what, two, three shots, didn't take none in the fourth quarter. If he's playing this year to start off, I'm expecting this type of performance. So there's no, po there's no reason that I'm going to put him on a court. Right? I, don't, I, like, I can say they're like, yeah, you're not going to embarrass yourself. I don't know that. But I know if you're going out there doing what you did the last game, that does affect that does affect our start off. We start off 0-10. Like, like, nah. So there's no way Philadelphia is going to put him on the court. So why are you guys making this a, a deal? Like, whatever you're going to do, do it. Do it. Leave us the fuck alone so we can, Absolutely. you know, talk about we can else. talk about some shit that's really popping in there. <laughs> Bottle wars. So look, <laughs> yeah, water wars in the club. Yeah. So, but Harden has made it clear yeah. he wants to go to the Clippers. Trade talks between the Clippers and Sixers is stalled. Apparently, they're, they're back on the phone talking with each other. But the holdup is the Clippers don't want to come off of Terrence Mann. Who? Terrence Mann. From Miami? No. From the Clippers. Give <laughs> <laughs> some respect to uh, the other team in Los Angeles. <laughs> believe the Sixers want Terrence Yo, Mann. Yo, we got to start doing the, the, random, the, the random faces for him to see, so they don't want, who, to see if he know what team they play for. Who he play for. Wait, wait, yeah, so who they who play he for. play for. Because we got to, because he don't know. Oh, I'm a fan last year too, though. Yeah. They don't want to come, they don't want to come off of. <laughs> These are just reports, guys. You know, I just and who hope, else? I think it's Terrence Mann too first and maybe some other pieces to try to get Harden. They got to do something to make the contracts match. I like but, it. I like it. Harden to Clippers. I like it. You got to give... Well, does Terrence Mann start? Uh, no, no. I mean, I think Westbrook... You know, he, no, he wasn't starting much. A whole L.A. team. We got a whole L.A. team. Yeah, we'll have a whole late L.A. team. Kawhi, P.G., uh, Russ. From I.E., Palmdale. Yeah, we got it's every, all L.A. Every corner. It's Southern California. <laughs> so, so, Clipper... So... Clippers don't want to give up a bench dude and two f first for 22 and 10. And that's why... Because guess what? That's why the Clippers... Because guess what? Because he's a free agent. No, fuck that. If he come here, he ain't averaging 22 and 10. What the fuck are y'all missing? He ain't going to average what the bench dude averaging? How much he is won't man? average 22 and 10. How much does man average? It won't... It don't, the number, he won't well, average he, 22 and he 10. He might average... He going to average what? He can average 15 and 10. I mean, he got shooters. He got shooters, so they're going to... He got who? He got scores. He got scores. Nah, nah, Kawhi can shoot that thing. Kawhi not a catch-and-shoot guy. He can oh, shoot it. He can catch and shoot can, a little bit. Have working. you seen where he got his ten assists from before? Um, we were surprised how they got it. Like, eh. That's, <laughs> so Terrence Mann, That's manipulating the game. Eight, That's nine not, points, four I'm rebounds. Just, he can do better than that. 23 minutes a game. He can do better but than that. But if you hard, why would you want to come to that? Because you wanna, know what Terrence Mann does that James don't do? Play defense. Play hard as fuck all the time, and he defend. <laughs> hey, he play hard. He give a fuck. Hey man, listen. That, I'm just saying. Um, if I'm Philly, man, listen. If I know Lawrence Frank, they, like I think I do, they won't. I, mean, I don't Philly think, want him. I don't think Lawrence Frank is talking to them about this. They just calling him. I'm just saying, man. I don't worry. So where does he go? What are reports? Or he's like, gonna go, he gonna go to Houston? So, question, question. Night club. <laughs> question for you, Kane. 13. 13. He got his own club. If you're a contender this season. He got a bowling out in the club in a restaurant. 13. Absolutely. That's where he's at every, yeah. I've seen him, yeah. That's, that's yeah. the next level. So Nice, too. Kane, if you're a contender this season, what value will James Harden bring to your team, do you feel like? I, I don't think he does. He coming to the Clippers. I don't think he brings value to a team that's contending because he, his demand, the way, the way he has to play the game to be effective, he needs the ball in his hand. So now if you're a contending team, you already have pieces in place. 
You have stars. You have guys who's stuck in their ways, need the ball in their hand to score. If you trade for him, you got to make a trade, so you got to give something up that you've already relying on, right? That, that's what the contender. You, that's what you, that's what it is. Are you willing to blow your team up, so to speak? And you fight for some, but James Harden, you don't know what James Harden you're gonna get. Blowing up a t- blow, you, one person. No, no, that's yeah. it. No, you no, said the clip. That's it. Oh, you know, no, no, oh. no, no. He, the question was a contending team. Mm. What yeah. value does James bring to a contending team? I ain't just talking about the clip. I'm talking about teams that's fighting for something. Teams that's, that we think over the last couple of years or teams that's right there right now, mm-hmm. what, just say if it's an up-and-coming team that's I'm good. I'm trying to figure what team, I mean. So God forbid a team suffers an injury and they're, only, they're only. contending and they need James to fill that void. Would you see a move being, being made? Then maybe, but, but maybe in that case, absolutely. Yes. Okay. A young team, you can't bring him to it. If you drafting young and you're fighting for the future, you're not putting him around young talent. Because of the other things that we know, right? Damn, if you're, but what I'm saying is if you're the Clippers and you're giving up a hustle man. Because we talk right? about basketball, dog. I know, but you, and knowing, knowing your team, though, knowing your team and the, the stars history, you have. The history of your team. Right? The, 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 like you have two stars that usually are going to miss a lot of games. And what usually happens is you don't have enough scoring to what's the name. So if you have a backup dude who can put buckets in the basket when those stars is out, and this is what I got to give up. And that's been your them main, same like, two star- So this is logical behind them. Same two guys missed a lot of time last year and we was the fifth seed. Yeah, not, but now imagine if we had James the whole time. We don't need James third. to be a fifth seed. No, no we would have been third team. Not necessary. Him and Russ? I mean, don't work, man. It, we talking about, I'm just... That's what I'm saying, I'm just trying to figure I'm out... I'm looking like, at the game of basketball what, what, in 2023. I'm like, what am I giving... That's what I'm saying, what am I giving... Like, I'm not giving up. I'm not giving up. To bring Coming on, off the bench, 23 minutes, 9 and 4. And to take on 36 million, and we ain't no guarantees in it. I ain't no telling what James we're going to get. I got, I, got, I got 175 toilets in my, my new arena. Like, I'm, that's the new arena. I do, I'm, I'm, about, that's I mean, the I'm new arena. I'm doing a whole bunch of pointless that, shit anyway. That's the new <laughs> I mean, I just, arena. I'm doing a whole bunch of pointless shit anyway. We're talking about 2023. <laughs> I mean, so we we talking about this. Out. Clippers have figured 2023, 2024 basketball season we're talking about right here. I can't, well, right? I can't turn KJ into to, to 9 and 4. I can't turn him into main. So I don't, that's what I'm saying. What, what do I, what am I losing? What, in what, are, sense you, what of, are you gaining? It's what no, you're no. getting back in get, this. I'm getting a possible 22 and 10 if, if these two guys go out. Mm-hmm. If they don't go out, 15 and 5. So it's 15 and 11, yeah. But what, so my I mean, question for you, if you harden now, why would you want to go into that situation if you're trying to get some bread? Because that's where you want to come anyway. But, First, you're, but you're going to be a free agent next year. You're trying to get that last good deal. And now that's what I'm what saying. Kind, what those numbers gonna look like trying to play with that's what I'm, but, but that's what I'm saying. The fact that this is where he wants to come, it is not about money then. Right. If this is where he wants to, if I know this is where I'm going and my numbers are gonna drop, and I know I'm not gonna sign the max, then it, it can't be about money at this point with him. Uh, this yeah. is just a principle move. Yeah, like I want to play. Like, like this is just a principle move. Like, like this is like me going on my contract year, and I'm like, all right, I want to go to Golden State. And I know Steph and Clay there. I know I'm not signing Max. I know I might, might not even get a four year, $100 million deal. So, what is the real reason? To two in a chip. Come home. Yeah. Come home, play with my boys, terrorize the city. Bar- so what, Barbary so Coast, got to open so it back up. Back to my get it cracking. point I'm making. We're talking about basketball here. Get it cracking. Yeah, I just, I, yeah, no, no, no but, I'm, but I'm saying is like, I'm saying like. Are we, we're talking about basketball here. Like, you know, I don't have to give up. Like, it's like, I don't have to give up a star. I don't really have to give up well, the, something that I'm going to miss because I can replace that with. The Clippers going to need something. I mean, Paul and Kawhi ain't playing the whole season. No, that's, that's so, what I'm saying. It's, who going to make up for that? So you have now go with Harden and Russ. Is that insurance policy? That's the only reason I would do it because of the insurance policy. Like, like I'd rather have them knowing that if they do miss and, you know, there's going to be like a 10, 15 game stretch where I might need some more scoring, that's where it is. Other than that, I'm expecting him to come in, average 15 and 5. Yeah. You know, I don't know. 
And I don't now, even know if I start does, that team. I don't even know how, how all of them start. And does Jen, so, so, so that's, that's, now we're talking basketball. Yeah, yeah, right? I don't even know. Like, so now we're talking basketball. Like, it made sense. So who comes, I, I, off, so who comes off the bench? So, is, so you're going to ask James to come off the bench? Russ. No, Russ will come off. I mean, Russ will come off. Why Russ got to sacrifice now again? I know, but I see. See now we because he's, he's, he's already had. Now he's already done it before. So now, oh, he's now, done it before. oh now it's cool because <laughs> like, oh it's cool for a nigga to hit his wife because he did it before. Like no, no that shit ain't never okay. Never. Like I, but Gus because he did the man a form MVP. Like let's stop none, with this and none, bullshit. None of them can and play four. <laughs> and let's stop the bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Uh, let's no, stop it. None of them can play four. I mean, they they would they would try to throw Russ at the four. I can see. A but you know what I'm saying? You can put James at the one and Kawhi. So now you're asking Kawhi dudes to do shit. shit. Now now it's That's fucking with they. Yeah. On, but I ain't fucking with the morale of me and the team because you'd ask me to come off the bench. Now I'm like, fuck your bench. I want to start. Now now I think now <laughs> I think like see I thought the whole time they were like it was gonna be like Russ being traded with like you know what it made sense but the fact that he's coming is like ooh. That's what? James at the one, Kawhi and, and Paul at the two and three. James is a willing passer. You act like this guy is not a willing passer though, oh, at the end of the day. He's one, two, three. I mean, you can go I, I mean, I mean, you I mean, can go I, I mean, listen, the Clippers, go small. The, the Clippers got to do something. You got to like, go small. Because if not, then it's just, okay, fight for fifth and six. You, you got to go. Did you I move mean, PG to small. the four? Huh? Did you move PG to the four for defensive? See, but I don't even think they're going to play that, that many games. So, I mean, I, mean that, I don't know. Like, it, it only hurts the team if they if if PG didn't play the whole whole season. <laughs> <laughs> That's the fucked up part. We going into this? No, they probably not gonna play the whole year anyway. So, what's man, that? if I'm the Lakers, man, if I'm the Lakers, fuck it, huh? Woo! Uh, uh, I mean, uh, uh, yeah. forget it, huh? Huh? Go ahead, huh? For Jay, pull, the I mean, pull the trigger. You could probably go D'Lo and, and Gabe. Yeah, as soon as D'Lo said he wanted to be Derek. <laughs> oh no, go on. No, no. Derek Hell White. Hell no. He wanted to be Derek White. Yeah, as soon as he said, like, I, this, we done had Ice Vane. Well, you should have known. All preseason. You should have known. Ice Vane coming out here, like, yeah, got my D Lo back. You should have been, no. As soon as he said, ah, yeah, I want to be Derek. Him. You can't trust anybody that snitches on Nick Young. No, I'm just saying, him, I, yo, your second year in the league was his best year. Your second year was his best year. Why would you want to be your second year again? <laughs> no, man. Hell no. I like what? that. I like that. Both of them for James. I like that. No. no Why not? Let's... You ain't got no you guys have nothing else out here. It's just gonna be me talking and Gil all year about our team. To be honest, man, listen. <laughs> like, it's gonna get ugly for y'all out here. You know, you know we look get bad. Get Rob when, on the phone. You know, when you, we look bad when he can have a whole meal. He ain't gotta, he ain't gotta stand up, no nothing. They ain't celebrate, because he know ain't no, ain't no highlights coming. Let me go ahead and eat my pasta for the night. <laughs> you talking about, bro? <laughs> <sighs> it's about to be a rough couple of years for Brian. These last no, no, two. No, no, no. We, we all right. No, these last two about to be rough. I mean, no, he gonna go out right. No, listen, he gonna get his farewell. But man, he gonna go out like. I just want. I just want to see like, the West right now. Top, right now, Lakers. Right the who? In the West. Y'all not even top five. We will see. <laughs> Y'all not even top five. Don't do that. Don't do that. You Phoenix. Don't do that. You Phoenix. Do, do not do I'm that. I'm Phoenix too. No, you one team. Multiple you teams. Phoenix. No, I'm, bu I'm Bucks. I'm. 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 No, you're I'm Dame. Not, I'm you're Dame. Dame. You're I'm Dame. Dame. We. we <laughs> You're Dame. Dame. Yeah, yeah, don't, don't do that. Don't I'm do Dame, that. You I'm Suns Russ. this year. You the Suns I'm this year. I'm Dame, I'm Russ, and the and Suns. Lakers and the Suns. God, this guy. Just take all three. Huh? This guy. Just take all three. No, 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 no. We got to have principles, Steve. Okay, we got to uh, have principles. I just like us, yeah, I'm about to say, some teams is never getting it's, talked it's, about on this, yeah, on go, this podcast. Go, they can just forget about it. Is, let's they go, know that. They, is, let's go, they Dame. They know that. <laughs> Let's teams, go, Dame. Yeah. Some teams that never get mentioned on this podcast. Let's go, let's go, Russ. We shoot in Los Angeles. Do with that information what you will. <laughs> now we got to bring some other teams in the mix. I feel bad sometimes. Yeah, we can bring in Indiana Pacers. Listen, oh, man. Once January come, I'm gonna be sitting up here just laughing at all y'all. We'll see. <laughs> you ain't gonna be laughing when it's You can't up. be laughing at the Lakers. Three in the West. That's my hope. Listen. Oh, I know. No, no, no. no, no. He said right prayers. now. Prayers. You said top three, right? Yeah, right I now. It, I took it edible before the show. Let me preface. No, don't do that. <laughs> but that's my hope. Yeah, okay, that's my hope. I'm with it. Keep no, I'm with it. No, there's nothing wrong with having faith in your team. I just wanted to clarify. I just, I just needed some clarification. LeBron, you're 21. Just make sure that's what you said out your mouth. NBA that's support. Like the NBA got our back. <laughs> Adam Silver knows where his money coming from. Yes. <laughs> and y'all also know the talent that they got over there, so. They, you don't like that squad? They're okay. 
Top three? No, not top three. <laughs> we have bodies now. Let's do it. The Chicago Bulls? Make Shit, I'm a body. The what? <laughs> the <laughs> the mean, what? I can Get play no there. more. Get out there. I'm like, if you're Philly, do you make a, a piece of Chicago Bulls? Who's that? Oh, that wouldn't be bad either. That wouldn't be bad either. Like I'm trying to, I'm trying to see a team that like, they got, they got good players, but they're not gonna go nowhere right now. Like, you know, you got the Rosen and Zach over there. Do you, if you didn't, do you make a play for that and say shut up? Go, fuck go up. all LA with. Ooh, I like that. James over there in L. In no, 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 no. Yeah, James in Chicago, and, the and then Philly get back like James Zach with Demar or, or the Rosen. I'm all for LA. Wait, guys. wait, wait, wait yeah. both or just one of them? Or uh, now you gotta oh, keep Demar. I'm, 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 oh shit, I'm thinking different. What are you thinking? The big fella. With Demar and fucking Zach. Oh, you? Oh, uh, Ooh. um, um, uh, uh, Booch. No, that's what I'm saying. You trade them and bring them over to Philly. You both of them for James? I don't think they'll do both. They do. Get well, both. What I'm saying, but will you trade and be? No, no, no. If I trade in Chicago. No. Listen, I can, listen, you. <laughs> no, if I trade, no. If I trade, they stuck, if they I, stuck with James. If I trade, if I trade James and Tobias for the De, Rosen and and what Zach? They got no way. Else. Why not? James and, James and Tobias is not better than Demar and uh, Zach. I know. I'm no, no, no. I'm Philly. I want to get rid of these two for them two. Yeah, but I don't think. And then he come off your he come off your books, and Tobias come off your books, and then you back to Chicago rebuilding. Not, Chicago yeah. not doing. Then you, you back got, rebuilding. You got Tyrese. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, but uh, no, no. I would be upset if somebody trade. For Tobias Harris. We're gonna be talking. About, <laughs> we're gonna be talking about Get this for out. many Martin days Rosen to come. Zach Levine, come on. Yeah, I mean, it could happen. More, gotta put some more respect on this. It so, could happen. for those of you who watch the show and been supporting us, you know we've been doing our high tech time machine, jumping into the old school debates and some new school topics as well. We got one coming this Thursday. We got Gil. Can you be here too? So we'll ask Brandon. I don't need your opinions, Gil. Last last week you went a little too hard. With the uh, information, really, it staggered us come Thursday. So, Brandon. <laughs> just bring, okay. Just Brandon, because you're not going to be here tomorrow. Harder to guard, Kyrie or AI? Harder to guard, Kyrie or AI? Um, I truly think it depends on um, how do you want this 50 point game? Do you want it straight at you, <laughs> full speed, or do you want it, you know, side by side, footwork in the post? Um, I just think it depends on how you want 50 points put on your head. <laughs> but it's coming either way. It's, it's going to come either way. So one, with AI, you got to be in shape. For sure, you got to be able to run around all, all game. A um, lot, of, lot of in the paint points. Kyrie's more, you know, he's, you know, it's like putting together a song with Kyrie. So and, it just depends on how you want it. I so I really, I, I really can't pick. It just depends on how you want Got to see over there. On your head. Mind turning. You tell me. You tell me. Worry about it tomorrow. So, I so worry do about you have tomorrow. to pick? Do you have to pick, or you can give Brandon? Uh, 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 so Brandon didn't pick. Um, I think. I think the hardest would be. I think the hardest would be Kyrie because the way it looks, like he's just gonna have you all over the like. It's just like you know. I think just the way it, the way it's gonna look. So from more of an embarrassment standpoint. Yeah, Kyrie. Okay. Okay. So, Gil, we'll get in it tomorrow. This is Gil's arena. You know you can interrupt me whenever you want to nope. do whatever you want. Tomorrow. All you got to do is put the hand out. That's my <laughs> cue. Stop talking. <laughs> but we keep, this, keep moving to our last segment of the day, Mostly Fans, presented by Underdog Fantasy. Download the app. Use promo code Gil. They'll match your first deposit up to $500. We've been really going hard for Underdog. We need that Cam and Mace bag. I'm just going to throw it out there again. We need to go to Vegas uh, during the in-season tournament. We, we need to Vegas. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Blue that's, wire. On, that's, on yeah. God. that's on God. Y'all need to hook no. that up. In-season in oh. tournament. Oh, we need to be in Vegas. Have to, to win. Yeah. Stop playing. To, no, yeah. I'm about to tell Cam. About to run up the room charge. Tower suites. And go to that Chinese restaurant. That's up the thing. Hey, I'm man. about to tell Cam, hey, man, whatever day y'all on, we... Uh, <laughs> hey, the wind be bullshitting, though. They ain't live, so... Yeah, that's, yeah, that's what I'm saying. But man, doing in-season tournament, I think it'd be dope. We got an advantage. They bring both we're shows out, out there. Yeah. The worst is at the win. You try to make reservations. Oh, we're completely booked for tonight. It's like it's three thirty in the afternoon. Nah, you gotta. Nah, you gotta. You listen, should. Delilah, everything we. Nah, good. I do it under Gil's name. Yeah, that's, <laughs> yeah. This is Mr. I Green. just put it on the room. Underdog. Yeah, yeah, we going. Under, underdog got it for me. <laughs> I'm B Jim. I'm Mr. Underdog B. Put the Mr. B. Call, <laughs> Mr. B. in Vegas. Mr. B. A sight to behold. So our first question Wait. comes from Underdog. No, go ahead. Dog. I was about to do say. your thing, killer. First question comes from Underdog username ZA139. It says, what young players or player do you think will have a breakout year? That already hasn't had one? 
or more man. breakout. I mean, Jordan Poole, Jordan Poole, Maxi is the two I'm going with. I'm, I'm going to go with the two uh, rookies we talked about, uh, Chet and um, Bates, that we talked about earlier. Okay, Imani, go have a... Imani Bates, yeah. Okay. I'm going with those two. Is Chet a rookie, though? Red shirt rookie? Red <laughs> shirt <laughs> <laughs> rookie. He... Chet's my guy. He shouldn't be allowed to win with a rookie of the year, let me just say that, but... Breakout year, yeah. Jordan Poole with ultimate freedom is, mm. oh my God. <laughs> yeah, no. He had freedom over there, but it was a little, it, it, was, it wasn't the, yeah. Jesus, boy. Yeah, I'm going to go with Jordan Poole. He going, yeah, he might lead the league in score, <laughs> score one. I know. All right, next yeah, question. I know. <laughs> the way he's, because if he can get the, uh, no, he ain't got to look over his shoulder. You know who, mm, did Darren Fox have a breakout year last year? Darren, yeah. Yeah, he already yeah. Okay, all right. I was going to say him, actually. Or the kid, Mikael Bridges, to continue what he did at the end of the year. Yeah. Like, that's, can he do, if he doing that, yeah, that's my, yeah. yeah. Can Zion technically have a breakout year if he stayed healthy? Yeah. If he just yes. stays healthy. Yes. If he yes. stays healthy the whole season yes. and he just do the 27 and 7, that's a breakout year, right? Yeah. You got to. <laughs> What's the, he got to play 65 How many games does he have to play in order for it to count as a breakout year? 65. 65 is the threat, so let's put it on the 65 games for Zion. 65 is a game. If he do it in 55, we're not going to feel that way? No. If he did 35 no, and 55. No, he did 65. <laughs> if he did, what, 29, like whatever it was. If he doubles, he does, does 58. Now, 65. He do 65. That's considered a breakout year. That's Zion, pull up to the show again. That might be most improved. Yeah. So next question comes from underdog username Zay Thomas. Who's a player you wish you had the opportunity to play with during your careers and why? And also, what current player do you wish you had the opportunity to play with and why? Send him 100 for the two questions. Mm. We're trying to bankrupt you, underdog, unless y'all send it to the end season tournament. <laughs> probably, probably, probably Cole Whitfield, right? Just to see the, the, the mindset, like the, like just for the like the everyday stuff, the locker room, you know, how they prepare, you know, um, seeing what the Zen master, what made him great, right? You know, that's that's why I just I just want to be able to get under the hood and just see it all. Like, yeah. what if you saw it though? If it was trash, or like you know, you would, at least you, I got that answer. Yeah, okay. You know no, what I mean? I'm like, not saying the is. I'm just. I mean, I just just got the answer. Like you know, like is there. <laughs> You know, it's like I guess when you you know when you think of people at the top, you you want to know what they what they was doing that you wasn't. Um, now probably Steve Kerr, right? Just to see they work out every day. Like what are they working out? Like what is what is? How did you get them these players good enough to be stars when, for the most part, they wasn't they wasn't elite. Right, they were created into elite players, so I want to know, like, yeah. wh like, what was the regimen? Like, what were y'all doing every single day, you know, to, to get them to this point? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I think for me, I don't really have a player that I would have wanted to play with. I think just a coach probably would have been, um, uh, what's, this, um, what's the son's coach? Money? Uh, um, no, for... Uh, Earl? For, uh, with, with, with Steve, with Steve Nash. Oh, Dan Tony. Dan Tony. Yeah, Earl. Dan Tony. Shout out Earl Watson. Um, Earl Watson, sure. So yeah, Earl will let you cook. Get that. Yeah, I know. Get that seventy-two. <laughs> yeah, I think. Uh, yeah, I think Dan Tony, my rookie year with the Knicks. I think if I would have played for him, mm -hmm. that fifty-five in the Garden would have been different. But who, yeah. who's a player though that? He said he. He said. Wasn't well, really players. I, I I think just coaches like and and then like currently like currently today like Pop like I would just want to just get the knowledge from Pop. Is there no young player that you, you got playing now you would rock with? That I would love. Uh, I mean, I mean, if anything, right now I would like. I feel like I would be like a Patrick Beverly, so I would I would want to go to like Golden State and play. Okay. Just like be the backup or something like. Well, oh, you talking about now? now. Yeah, now, yeah. right now. Stephen actually, play, not like when you was you were scoring. No. So. No. Oh. Yeah, because he said currently. He, he said what? Well, I'm saying player, current player. Oh. Do you wish you had the opportunity to play with at, at the height of Mr. B? Who's a guy in the league now? You'd be like, I could rock with that dude. 
Probably Darius, Darius Garland. Darius Garland, like I, lo I, I love, I love that kid. Like, yeah, like that's one kid I'm ready to see like t break out. Darius Garland, you gotta go look at his highlights. Okay, how about yourself? The mellow ball. <laughs> I was about to say the same shit for him. I was hoping, you, I was hoping you were gonna say KJ. No, I was gonna say, okay, that's that's the easy choice, my son. Oh, no, I knew no, that. But I knew he was gonna say that. Day. No. He's looking for it. Oh, who? Who gonna throw that motherfucker up? Yeah. <laughs> Who gonna pass the goddamn ball, man? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Hey, no, I was yeah. The same thing. Yeah. I was like, I was like, he had Jason Kidd. Yeah, Jason, I played with Jason Kidd and Andre Miller. Over here, like, a little bit. I played with Jason Kidd and Andre Miller. Ooh. And hey, we gotta get Andre Miller to pull up. I'm That's what I'm saying. Bro, Andre Miller is a legend. Andre biggest, Miller had 50 points without a three point shot. One of the biggest legends. Yeah. LA. Yeah, cuz. What's up, man? The curl. Yeah, cuz. Yeah. <laughs> What's up, cuz? Still on the curl, dude. still with the yeah, curl, nah, I, yeah, oversized yeah, one. Yeah, I'm saying the easy choice for me, for me to say KJ, of course. Okay. I'm playing on the same muscle after, but nah. Like LaMelo. Like, yeah. nah, I would just love to see you and KJ dunk on the same person. Oh, I don't know who that person, but you know, like Ken Griffey Jr. seeing where they hit the home run. Yeah, no, nah, that's... Yeah, we got bodies, though. The family, we got, <laughs> we got bodies of the family. Got bodies. We got bodies now. We thought we tapping heads right <laughs> here, Jack. I'm going Steven Adams as a player. Okay. Take the ball out, set picks. Shit, you play with a few of those. I know, that's why. <laughs> Take the ball out, set good Yeah, picks. you play, yeah, you play. You ain't gotta argue, you ain't gonna say yeah, you play with a few logs. I'm gonna start talking. Hey, good. <laughs> hey, you play with a few logs out man. there. Get guys just in the way, yeah. taking up space yeah. in the way. My favorite big to ever play with was Kurt Thomas. Legend. Oh, Our Kurt gets open. That's why I was getting off. Oh, Kurt gets open. Yeah. Kurt, young fella, yeah. Like, young fella, yeah. just relax. Yeah. Just, just calm down. Yeah. Just relax, young fella. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know me, you're You're like, I got him. And KT. And they got to play different with KT knocking it back. Mm -hmm. yep. ten, ten and 11 with me. K, hey. Pick and roll. Come back. He's like, come back and get it, young fella. No, oh, KT knocking was... that thing down. And he going to get you open. Yep. Last question for y'all. This might start some controversy. Uh, Mass fans, brace yourself. This comes from underdog username, Holy Drip. He said, I'm a Maverick fan. Is Luka just a new version of Harden in Houston? And can we, can we win a championship with this play style? So is Luca just a new version of Harden in Houston? Yes, and, and can we win? <laughs> yes, with this place. Yes, no. It has potential to be that. Huh? It has the potential to be that a Harden. Yeah. If you're not, if you're not, yeah, like, like if, if he's, he's not it yet, yeah, if he's not it yet, it has the potential to be. Yeah, that. absolutely. The way he plays, because he dominates the ball a lot. Dominates, no defense, no. Right. So I mean. It's gonna be. I feel like it's gonna be a lot of players like Harden, like coming up. I don't. There's not a lot they're of good the ball, teams. They're taking the ball out of guys' hands now. Yeah, they're trying to run them in the. Uh, was it? Yeah. Was it weave type yeah. offenses? Mm -hmm. They're taking the ball out of guys' hands. They're not letting you dominate the ball no more. Man, they, that ball moving. You got to be fishing in your approach now, Jack. I'm saying, if you're gonna get, this, you got certain guys gonna get the looks, like you're gonna get certain shots, but you gotta be efficient in your approach, and they take the ball out of your hand. Mm -hmm. I think you got about like two more years to try to figure it out. How, Cause how old is he? 25. Luca? I don't even think he's that yet. No. Nah. 20. Yeah, it's the sound about right. 24, 25. No, he ain't KJ. 20, he turned 25 20, in February. Yeah, he's 24, 25. 25. So yeah, this is that time now, like, cause but once you're 27. If you're still doing the same thing, it's kind of like, all right. You stuck, yeah. It's like, all right, like we know what we're finna get. So is he, unless they make major moves in Dallas. Well, I feel like they'll get. The I next mean, two, three I years, mean, do they? The, the only person that'll probably be out is Kyrie. Like, like, yeah, 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 Kyrie. Like, yeah. like, you know what I'm saying? Like, and probably in a year or two, Kyrie yeah. will probably get moved on. And what do you do from there? Then you got we don't know. It's all up in the air, but what do you yeah. do from there? If I'm Dallas, I'm trying to go get Embiid. You, you got to make that move now, now, though. I mean, right, right now. Those moves eat. have to be made now. now. Today. I mean, well. Before, before, <laughs> the, season, <laughs> before the season. So this yeah. season, in order for you to have this, for you to have a shot next year and the year after, with, you got to do that shit now. I'm, I'm sure they'll figure it out. You got the pieces. Or Luca. I mean, because you can't lose Luca. He's not going to lose Luca. Yeah, so it's like, you know, or does Luca just stay and then he just end up being Dirk later on in his career? Like, they end up getting some pieces. No, I mean, that's like, like usually how, what's going to... You think Lucas stays there? Yeah, for sure. Yeah. For it's a difference. Yeah. You can put pieces around Dirk. You can put pieces around Luca too. Luca's ball in his hand. 
Yeah. You think Luca will stay? No, this one thing you. So, so let me ask you this. Wow. Mm-hmm. So we. The question is: Is he the new James Harden, right? Since James has dominated the ball the way he has and manipulated the game the way he has in order for his numbers, stats, and all that mm-hmm. stuff, points and assists, what has come of it? Western Conference Besides Finals. Besides stats. Western Conference Finals. And going out and, and missing 27 straight threes in a game as a team. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm just saying, like, it, it did have, su- but it did have success though in Houston, though. Yeah, like, they like, couldn't like, make like, one under 27. That shit still hurt. But it did. But it still. But we still got to the Western Conference Finals, though. Is that the? Is like, that the? That's what teams aim for now. No, no. But I'm just saying, for that type of style, for people to say that it's bad, it still got me farther than a lot of guys. Point, 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 like Western Con- I- So of all the teams that's played, of all examples, dude, that's one situation. He made one Western Conference Finals. Well, I mean, he made a couple with OKC, been to the finals, and what he was a big part of that. What did he have around him? He didn't dominate the ball. I said that since James Harden has dominated the ball the way he has, he didn't dominate the ball. OKC. His ratio was crazy in OKC, though. But he... Like with the, you're not answering the question. Young, yeah. You're not answering not the question. Since he's dan- hey, get up and dance around this motherfucker. You're not <laughs> answering my question. What? <laughs> I mean, so Luke, so to Luca's skill set, right? Mm-hmm. Great individual talent. Yes, James Harden, great individual talent. That don't equate to that. Because you, if you look at the teams that win, the team assist number is what? I mean, my 20, 30. I mean, his support, right? that means James supporting cast was trash. But no, no, no. But no, the ball, he, he, ain't play with, is, he ain't play with nobody. He, my, he ain't got nobody in Houston. My point is the ball don't move. Well, nobody in Houston with James. But the problem, but, but the no, ball don't no, move. No, no, but that's, that's something that you need to really think about. For them to do what they do, that means the team ain't that good. So by the time they get a certain age, that's all they know. Yeah. So when they do get other players that they need to conform to, they don't know how. Stripes on a zebra. Spots so on there, the there has to be a, a point where, like, if you're going to try to break Luka, you're going to have to do it now. Right? Because you let him get to 27, 28, and he done got all these accolades, and now you're talking about he might have a scoring title and up. Oh, it's gonna be hard to break him at that point. Like trying to same. win a championship. Mm. There's a lot. I mean, same point I, I mean, I just feel like okay. <laughs> I just feel like in Houston, if CP3 doesn't get hurt in Game Six, I, they they might be go to state. Mm-hmm. Like 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 you know what I'm saying. So it's like that. It was working. No, it was. It, say, they I, were just one be, little. But that's what I'm saying. But think about piece like, away. But think about the success individually that he's had after that. You know, MVP, scoring titles, it's, it's kind of hard to rewind it back. So if you don't see that, okay, to build a team, I'm going to have to cut him off now, start bringing pieces in where he, he starts relying on other people, because once he starts averaging 33, 30, you know what I'm saying? Like, like what James did is rare to go from 30 to 22, right? But you see how the, just the thought process of that, you can see what happens at the end of the game where he's not existing. Because he's probably looking like, oh, I done already shot enough. I don't need to shoot no more. When that's when you probably need him at his best. So he needs to conform now on how to share and yeah. be part of a team. So if Luca don't... If that ball ain't doing, you're not winning, dog. I'm right. just saying. I'm right. just... You know, like, that's what... I'm saying you're not, dog. Kyrie. Uh, LeBron came back right in time before time Kyrie to, got to, to that. really become... Yeah, to get that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So let me give you this. So now he's more of a winner so, than he is... Mm-hmm. So during that, during that time, you're saying when CP was on the team with James, right? Yeah. They play in Golden State. I was doing radio at the time. I had a radio show. Me and Mike Rapp on that radio show. Shout out to Rap. This one, I, I didn't know that it was a thing that they was taking stats on dribbles a game. Like, how many dribbles per game one individual player had. Mm-hmm. Right? Doing these two. So they gave the stat on Steph and Clay. CP and James, mm-hmm. it was double the amount of dribbles that them dudes had had, and like it was astronomical. Like it was wasn't close. Yeah, like it was like low four hundreds and like damn near nine hundred. Mm. Like crazy. To the point, like if that ball ain't, and you look at the stats and you go to one number and it's the assist column mm-hmm. every night. Golden State twenty eight twenty nine. 
You look at the James got assists, CP got it. It ain't both of them each night. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? One night James go have a lot of assists, one night CP go have a lot of assists. One, it, that's just what it is. It ain't a consistent thing. And if the ball ain't moving and you dominate the ball like Luka does, and now you put him in the same situation, now you got Kyrie that's doing, like, it's you go, I go. You go, I go. You go, I go. You run a pick and roll, I run a pick and roll. It's, it, it's that. Mm -hmm. So it's the same situation that you put him in now. And to Gil's point, if you're going to do it, you got to do it now. Mm. You got to make him get off the ball now and start mm. playing other, in other spots on the floor without the ball. Yep. Yeah. Making him come to the ball, making him get off of it, use the screen. Mm -hmm. come, but he can't physically do it. <laughs> I'm just saying, because mm -hmm. they proven they suck. He just, that's what I've heard over time, that he, he, he ain't always in the best shape. They can't run him like they got to do. Them bears, them cores. I'm saying? So, that, so, so what do you do now? And the only other thing is to do is let him pound that bitch and run a pick and roll and let him go in the play. Like that's, that's the next thing to do in order for him to be successful because that's what you've seen over time. You know, nothing else. Mm -hmm. What a great show. Yeah. We, we really took a dig. My bad. No, you good. <laughs> the fans appreciate it. Yeah, we're supposed to only go like hour, half, two hours. We always go about 2.15, 2.20, 2.30 because when the conversation gets good, we keep this thing moving. Mm -hmm. It was a great show today. Shout out to Underdog Fantasy for helping us keep this thing going. Shout out to Gil, Brandon, K. I'll see y'all Monday. Well, bro, we'll be back tomorrow. Vegas. Send us to Vegas. Send us to Vegas, please. I want to run it up. This motherfucker got a seat warmer on? You got a seat warmer on?